Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got the volume on. There we go. I can hear myself now. Hear myself think. Here, go on, Abigail. Please smash that like button. Hey, but hello, Bone. Elbow cough. Elbow cough. Yes. Elbow cough. Get her something to chew on. Get her out of my hair. Ice Queen Airline says, always nice when presented with the question, naughty or nice? Always nice. I thought she was saying I was always nice or it was always nice to be here. Well, maybe she was. Uh, but then I thought, oh, wait a minute, my title. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where Shadowhawk is. Hope he's not getting better. A lot of illness going around right now. Anyone streaming besides moi? Besides moi? That's French, you know. Moi. Me. I guess we all know a little French, huh? I don't see that that many people are streaming right now. Yes. There, I hit my own like button. I feel better. I smashed it. I smanged it. Well, I did something. Have a nice hot cup of coffee. It is going to get nasty around here as it is uh, weather-wise. Critical drinking, critical drinker is, uh, is streaming. Can I even speak? I swear all I've had is coffee and soda today and very little of that. Uh, yeah, it's going to get nasty around here. Sunshiny today, kind of not too bad, but it's going to get like maybe five degrees tomorrow. Rainy. You know what's going to happen to that rain. It's going to freeze. May turn into snow. Who knows? It may come, just turn into ice. So after this broadcast, I'll be getting out. And even though I have maybe maybe two, two weeks worth of meals for Abby, uh, one time it snowed and it took me like four days to... I ran out of her meals and I got her some of those canned meals and uh, other things at the grocery store and I'd put it in the bowl and I always hold the bowl for her and feed her black ice. Yeah, that's, that's dangerous. Hey, Milton, it's truly a, a blessed day here, but isn't every day. I assume you're talking about the weather there. Uh, hey, tree goblin, great weather here, sunny earlier. Yeah. Uh, the sun's, Oh, getting pretty close to setting here in a couple hours, I guess. Uh, soon melting the link. Really? Okay. <laughs> Trigo, you are the greatest advocate for other people to come on. And yet, we never see you. Man of mystery. Man of mystery. I realize no one wants to hear me speak. Uh... Did I bookmark that great quote? I don't know that I did. There's a great quote that I read earlier today. Oh, I passed 1,100 followers on Twitter. That's good. It was kind of a slow crawl there for, for a minute. Actually stopped following a few people. Uh... Nobody, anybody would know. Uh, yeah, there seems to be a problem with the snowman this time of year. Seems like they're lining up to go to the restroom. And, and it may take a while for some people. Uh Mr. Grumpy back there 
He's got his hands on his hips. Yeah. That one in the middle where he's kind of crossing himself. Uh, that's the way I was watching the Superman movie with Christopher Reeves when it came out. I had to go to the bathroom bad when I sat down, but it was sold out crowd and I had a good seat and I didn't want to get up. So the whole movie, my bladder was on more than full. I held it till after the movie, but that was the only thing about the movie I didn't like. Uh, he would have dropped the link for me to get the link. I only use Skype and Discord at the moment. Beware the yellow snowman. Yeah, don't eat yellow snow, that's for sure. Whoever did that, the snowman deserves to be slapped. Congratulations and given free beer for a year. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least they got creative, huh? Is that creativity or is that a... Well, you know, they got something on... On uh, Twitter that... Uh, is shared by very many. Hello, Mr. Vic King. Hey, how are you? good. How are you? Is this an elf? Something like that, I guess. Yeah, he has pointed ears. Maybe this is the swashbuckling Namor. Uh, yes, the swashbuckling Namor. Indeed. Hey, why not? Why why don't they do that? Like the that's a storyline they've never done where he's like maybe a pirate or I, I guess it's an they could do a time travel story, send him back in time, and he could be a swashbuckler like uh, they kind of did with uh, Nightcrawler for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I would read that, you know, if it was written well and the art was good. Uh, it makes sense for the character, doesn't it? Yeah, it's aquatic, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Seafaring, you know, yeah. Yeah. I like that idea of a... Uh, Loses his, Namor. loses huh? doesn't even have to go back in time. He's uh he's an Atlantean. He's been around for for thousands of years. No, I don't think so. No, no, I, I think I he's kind of he like. A... I think the original Namor was probably set around in the late thirties when he came out. Right, and but I, I thought he he himself was like. Uh, well, you could be right. I, I'm not up on my name more lore. I thought uh, he was like a. I thought he was yeah, because I thought he was like a demigod. Well, part, part I mean, of the part of the you know, um, uh, you know, the descendants of Olympus. Is this true? Milton says uh, it's Vic. I come here to get away from him. No, no, no. Oh, Milton, listening well, to anyways, fall asleep. Uh, either yeah, way, I, it would still be a cool story, you know. Well, they, you know, the Atlantans in the early stories, they looked uh, green and bug-eyed and a lot different than they did would later on, which was more human and just blue-skinned. But the original Atlantans in the Namor stories, and then, of course... Oh, in the 40s, he kind of went, depending on who drew him, he went to a triangular head, a flat top. Have you ever seen that? Yes. Uh, hashtag kick Vic. No, I will not do that, Gable. Uh, I did, t you know, take his wrench away, but I gave it back. And then Gable the opportunist that he is summarily so kicked you. I guess that was a good thing. You had a good stream after that. Did I? I don't remember. Yeah. Well, nobody knows. You probably took it down. You take more videos down than I produce, bro. <laughs> I don't take them down. YouTube takes them down. <laughs> is it? And it's usually music, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I'm getting 300 and some odd views off, off from these streams, and they're only like, they're not even the super long ones either. So I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know, it's, it's worth it. You know, people are watching and. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm amazed. People I mean, are having, people are having fun, you know? So, I mean, that's the, that's the key. 
I'm, well, I guess they're not having fun with my videos, not as much as they are over on yours. I think it's the drawing element as well. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie because I'm not a very like entertaining talker, Rex. You know, I don't have, well, like, I don't have uh, charismata. Charisma. Well, I no, I think I have a bit of charisma, but I'm not. Yeah, you do. I don't. I like you have your collectibles, right. and you have all this information that you have that you can share on your collectibles. You can have like your show with Dave, where right. you and Dave go back and you guys riff back and forth on Doctor Who knowledge and and right. uh, Thunderbird knowledge and and UFO knowledge and Space nineteen ninety nine and. You know, um, things that, you know, I really, you know, they were a little bit before my time and I don't really, I've seen them, um, I've seen them, but I don't know a lot about it. You know what I mean? Like, welcome Shadowhawk. I don't hey, think I've ever seen fun. UFO, but I, I, Space 1999, I have seen. And, uh, yeah. Um, but I don't remember the episodes because I was so young. What do you think, Shadowhawk? A swashbuckling pirate like Namor? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I would oh, yeah. buy that book. I think you left my stream last night, Rex, before I got an answer for you on this. Probably. I mean, I because had to get a little bit of rest. Seen. So you probably hadn't heard the question. Oh, did you see did you see the dancing risey though? Oh yeah, you had that up there when you first came on or yeah. when I came in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that? you Dancing Risey, because <laughs> he was he was dancing on Vix the other day. Oh, I so, didn't see that. I didn't realize that was Risey. I've never seen him on camera before. So we got the Sea Demon, right? Yeah. And I figured, like, as I was drawing this, I figured he needed like <coughs> a companion of, of name Arita or whatever. So right, I I created her visually right mm -hmm. but i'm like rex has got to come up with a name for her and he's got to come up with her powers and he's got to you know that's your end of the creation process yeah okay so i mean i, I created that free character for you because you right. need more you need more women i do that you yeah draw you that you could draw into your stories from time to time right Right. Well, you know, the backstory on Sea Demon, which isn't explored yet, right? Because we go right into the action with the first Sea Demon mm -hmm. story. What you didn't get that, and I'm cognizant of that in the, in the Devil Flyer story, the all-out battle, but you'll get an issue too with Sea Demon. Uh, sea Demon starts off right the opposite. It's right into the action, as you know. Um with future ramifications and uh he is kind of a team player c demon is uh that's why he has the little oh mic there the little earpiece because he communicates with others via mm -hmm. that earpiece right so he's kind of a team player he does have a team and it does uh make sense that he would have an underwater companion uh that could go underwater with him on missions with him, you know, or whatever. Yeah, she's definitely. I I had seen her. I had seen that you had show, shown this piece, or maybe I saw it on on your channel. You know, you I, I guess you completed that probably about a week or so ago. I did see, or you sent me a scan. Maybe that was it. I mean, I a picture. You sent me a picture of it. Yeah, yeah on, uh, I still got to. I still got to scan it. You know. Yeah, a picture. So Milton says it's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy with Mermaid Man's powers. Maybe Aquaman. <laughs> Is Mermaid Man a He-Man reference? Didn't didn't uh, they have a Merman? They did. Uh, yeah, Mermaid Man is the funny part, bro. Gable says, "Good, a uh, good old sea demon or sea men for short." Oh, Gable! <laughs> oh, Gable! That is definitely the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy with the arrow, 
and does the whistling. Uh, Milton, actually, uh, C. Demon was created in 1993. And yes, he what his fin on top was inspired by Yondu of Guardians of the Galaxy. Absolutely. In fact, when I created in 2017, I believe it was uh, Devil Flyer, I, I had the same inspiration with that character to put the fin in place of like a Roman ceremonial uh, helmet, you know, where they had the feathers or the, right. uh, oh, what right. the, looks like Tree Goblin says, wow, Vic. Uh, hey, everybody. Hey, Caroline. Yeah, she's a shadow hawk, mass nerder. Uh, Tree Goblin says, I just noticed something. I need to buy groceries in two hours. Uh, roughly, yay, I'll be AFK till I find my wallet. What's AFK? Uh, that away from computer? I don't know. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Away from keyboard. With a oh, Away from, from keyboard. keyboard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something like I knew Mer that. Mermaid Man is a SpongeBob reference. Okay. Mermaid Man and Bronicle Boy. Yeah, I have some of that. Yeah, he looks like Aquaman. Yeah. A do bit. you draw your pictures by getting photos and putting filters over them like some people do? Just curious. Milton says, oh, Milton, come on. Rex, stop yeah. reading chats out of context. Laugh out loud. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, that's his whole bit. <laughs> I do the same thing. In fact, I like to change. I like to change parts of of uh, of chats as I read them. Uh -huh. I've I've been known to do that from time to time. Makes it, it makes it more interesting, you know. Right. Your channel, Shadow? you have editorial freedom. Shadow, how was your day? Ah, is I. Yeah. Uh, it's going to get nasty. It's going to get down. It's going to be raining and get down to about five degrees potentially here tomorrow. Oh, dude. By the time I get to work tomorrow, it's supposed to start snowing. By the time I get off, there's supposed to be about five inches on the ground. And it's dude. supposed to keep on snowing all the way through Friday into Saturday morning. Doom is almost done. Yeah. I, I was watching you paint. Uh, some of the fire and highlights and stuff last night, but eventually I had to bow out to get about an hour's rest before I did the coffee stream. So, right, uh, you got to get some rest sometime. I, I noticed you put a black border around it, that's nice. Frame it in, yeah. Well, nice. yeah, I figure, yeah, because that's you got to leave a, a little bit of space on each side for the, for the frame, you know. Yeah, melt and grow up, stop trying to cause a stir. Uh, AFK is away from keyboard. Also, a great New Zealand fantasy series. It's a shame it it was canceled. <laughs> well, it says. Huh. And there I go reading uh, chats out of context again. <laughs> is it going to get nasty where you're at in Boston, Vic? That's what I'm looking up right now. Yeah. How about you, Shadowhawk? Yeah, I just told. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat, and me and things are running through my head, my friend. Yeah, I'm supposed to have three to five on the ground by the time I get out of work tomorrow. Oh, God. And then it's supposed to keep on snowing all, all night, Thursday, all day, and all night, Friday and Saturday. Jeez. Yeah. That's what they're saying right now. So we'll you see. better get that flamethrower out to melt that snow. Well, that's why I was late today, because I had to stop to get the, uh, uh, like, super uh, won't freeze windshield cleaner stuff, you know? And, uh, uh -huh. The first two auto parts stores I stopped at were sold out. So, luckily, at the third one I stopped at, the guy was like, oh, let me go in the back and see. I was supposed to have some coming in, and I got lucky he just got an order in. Caroline says, uh, stay safe driving, Shadow. Oh, I'm going to try, Caroline. So, tomorrow, we're going to be, we're in the 40s right now. It looks like Friday, we're going to have rain. 
and then it's going to drop. Yeah, so we're in 40s. Friday's going to be 50s. Wow. And then it's going to drop from, from like 55 degrees on Friday. Christmas Eve is going to be 25 degrees. And Christmas Day is going to be 28. So Still, that's not too bad. You're not in single digits like we're going to be. No, but it's like it's like going from that's like that's a twenty five degree drop in temperature. Twenty five, twenty eight degree drop in temperature. That's crazy. I so says, no, no like Christmas this year for us. I says I'm jealous though. I love snow. Yeah, I do too. But now this it's going to rain and it might turn into snow. It might turn just into ice, which is really I mean, shoo. If you do have to leave your house, here's a tip. Uh, of course, disconnect anything from outside, like hoses, of course, but you, you at least leave your temperature up to 55 degrees inside, which would be way turn it down. I oh, do you have to, if you're in single digits, leave your uh, just leave a little tiny drop of water dripping from your. Skin. Oh, yeah. And leave your, yeah, leave, and sometimes a little bit more than a drop i don't even trust yeah. that i've had it freeze over yeah the kinetic energy of the water keep through the pipes keep keeps them warm living water check out this piece uh vic uh someone posted that's a nice shadow piece yeah 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 mm -hmm. very nice very nice i like uh i like it yeah i can't wait till we get the silver bowling <laughs> I know, me too. Me too. I've been filing away reference pictures of things just, oh, you know, camera angles shot through a wrought iron fence or <laughs> uh, things you see in noir. Uh, yeah. And then I'll, I'll try and craft a story where we can use uh, certain angles or, you know, shadows effectively, whatever. Uh, I've been reading my um, those tropes. I've been reading my 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 Sean Martin Barrow book. Is that the new war book? Yeah, yeah. So I've been reading that. Yeah, is it pretty good? I've I have oh, that book. Good. I Would just haven't. It seemed very simplified. I was surprised it didn't go into greater detail. I, on the, it, huh? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it doesn't. I guess it's, it's a basic little, book, huh? Yeah. But it tells you uh, all the key things that you need to know. So, if, even though it's an art book, it would definitely help you to be able to write the kind of scenes that you want. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Yeah, I'll be taking a look at that. We're just a little bit far away from that. So, I'll... Because I think he actually... There's one section about... Uh, in the creating of his book, he, he gives uh, like uh, examples of of how he approached the writing of it too. So uh, I well, think correctly. You know, I've been giving thought to before we do Silver Bowl, which I really want to get to. Of your suggestion of of going to a smaller page count and getting out a book, uh, you know, in between. Uh, books uh, like a horror book with maybe three stories in it because there's one one story I definitely want to get out there that will establish a character and uh, thinking about going a little bit further with Doc Blaylock uh, drawing another Grey Tale story <clears throat> yeah and because that would go toward the horror bent, you know, the horror theme, and mm -hmm. then just do a third story, uh, which I have one in mind, uh, already, already kind of uh, roughed out and written that I did a while back. Uh, but I was having such a great uh, stories come to me in the horror bent that I thought uh, I need to do maybe a horror book. Uh, you know, we were talking about some, I know you were suggesting like that after 
drawing TM and modern day mummy together, having like a battle book with them or something. Well, yeah, I mean, or, or something like that. You were probably. suggesting that we do like a 24 pager or something like that. And, and I was like, yeah, I think I want to, I have so many horror stories that I could really flex with. And I'm enjoyed the backup stories, writing them for devil flyer that I was thinking that, we could do a horror story, which you like that anyway. And I know Shadowhawk likes horror. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of people like horror stories. So maybe we just need to do a straight up shorter, you know, horror book. I, I think you'd be down for that, don't you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the stories I was thinking about is entails slaver. So I think it would be a good way to develop some of the stories that are not completely uh, a little bit further. The storylines that were uh, put in Devil uh, Devil Flyer One, uh, and then we could go, you know, into. Uh, Silver Bow and then a, a Devil Flyer number two. We'll we'll see how things work out. But uh hey blue Sasquatch. Vic, are you gonna erase them arms? Uh blue twenty two. Hey blue. Uh hi ice queen. Hey blue. There, I read them in order. Happy. Is anybody ever really happy? Yeah. Oh, hell. Sounds like today's discussion on truth. It can get mired down, you know. <laughs> truth. What is truth? So um, I got to go see my mom today. Oh, that was great. Yeah. I hope. Went, my, my brother came down from out of state and we went and visited my mom. Oh, I didn't realize your brother was from out of state. Uh, yeah, he lives out of state right now. And so, yeah, you know. Ice uh, Queen says, I'm never happy. Oh, Jesus. Well. Ah, Abigail. So loving. Hello. How are you? Did you see my abominable snowman that I got to uh, pick? No. From, you know, the bumble snowman that gets his te teeth pulled. The uh, bumble. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, bumble. I, sc yeah. I scored a bumble for five bucks, a little plushie. No, nice. Yeah. I always wanted a bumble. I got a little snow globe candy holder that you can press the button and uh, it, it has like styrofoam balls in it. So it looks like snow around a bumble. But, you know, that's not like a little... A little figure, you know, like this is. Right. Yeah. So I, I'm going to try and decorate for Christmas back here and put up some Christmas collectibles and things and make it Christmassy. <laughs> you want another treat? Is that it? Did one, did someone say plushy? Absolutely. Have you seen my bumble on Indy? On IG? What is IG? Instagram. Oh, Instagram. I, I have not blue Sasquatch. Um, I checked that out. I 
I have a lot of those uh, Christmas specials on disc. I really probably need to get out there to the shed and get some. I just, I'm not watching much TV right now. So the last couple of things I watched were old uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, I signed up for, um, I signed up for a month's uh, free uh, trial offer. It was only supposed to be for a week, but they, they extended it to a, a whole month of the HBO Max. And uh, and so uh, I've been I've been jamming, you know, cramping, cramming in all their content, you know, like all the DC stuff. So I I've watched the Batman movie. I've watched the the Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman '84. Black Have you Adam. not seen those? No. Um, Justice League. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to turn my camera on if I want to use my camera. <laughs> so yeah, I. Uh, I watched the whole Doom Patrol series. That really was out there. Hey, weird. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yay. For five bucks? I mean, come on. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. I mean, if you like the character. I mean, how many of these things, I mean, how many Bumble things have you seen for sale? Period. You don't. You don't ever. This is the very first one I've seen. I had a nice, at one point in time, I had a nice Bumble, uh, a nice Bumble figure. It was a, it's a, he had movable arms, I think, but. Oh, that's cool. It was a plastic toy, but it, you know, it was very, very, you know, it was nicely done, it had the hair and stuff. And Probably worth something now. Ice Queen says, oh my God. Yeah, I used to, I used to have it on my desk. Do you I like work. do you like the bumble, uh, Caroline? Do you like Somebody that? Sold overnight. I don't. They had another one. I was tempted to buy it. Um, they might still have it there, and they had Rudolphs, but they didn't have it like two <clears throat> bumbles. I definitely go buy you one if you want one. Bumbles bounce. Yeah, that's what they say. Hey, Carol. I think, therefore, I am, Carol. Bone says, I'm okay, I think. And she says, you think? I don't know what it is, but I love plushies. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Do you have Instagram? I do, Blue Sasquatch. It's under Devil Flyer. You can look under Devil Flyer. I think we're... I think we're connected already. I'm not sure. Postage would be a killer Rex, but thanks for the offer. Well, I mean, you've offered to send me candy and stuff. What's I mean, the postage might be a little better for you to send to America. I don't know. But I've sent to the UK all the time. And, and guess what? It's lightweight. It's small. And I'll just send it with your book. I will. I will have to go down there and see if they have another one. I really don't want to give up mine, but you know, for you, I would. I wouldn't do that for just anybody. But uh, let's see, mine's uh, animatronic bumble, but the batteries were left in. Ooh, corroded. Well, I think you could kind of. Uh, Maybe clean that up, salvage. Yeah, it. There's, there's videos on how to do that on YouTube. Yeah, I never it leave the batteries in. The, uh, the little contacts are left once you get it clean. If yeah. uh, you still got enough, you might be all right. Yeah, I have uh, one of those. You can even buy. You can even buy replacement contacts, and they, there's videos on how to. I know you off. wouldn't ask yeah. me to do that, Ice Queen. It's called a gift. Good Lord. Always be nice. It's pe people appreciate no it. strings attached. In 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 you know 
he appreciates you being here and part of his community. Yes, I do. Yeah. We all do. Hey, Jobs of Dread. As we all I... do. You're right. You're right. You're right, Shadowhawk. We all do. And we appreciate Joseph Dredd, Blue Sasquatch, Tree Goblin, uh, Bone, uh, Just Carol. Who else is in here or been in here? And if you haven't hit the like, yes, we even appreciate Milton. <laughs> <laughs> well, Especially get, Milton. Let's he's, not get crazy. He's special needs. Uh, <laughs> and Gable Penny shot. Now that's really crazy and off the chain. Um, troublemaker um <laughs> and i think that's it and then the silent majority that's out there i'm sure and those watching on rewatch i always appreciate you okay, we'll uh, no, no we'll you don't out of gold oh carol says no you don't i don't appreciate her no okay i'll send the plushie to you and show you that i do appreciate you let's see f milton wow so, I'd rather not. Carol, no. Yeah. no. I don't think Milton's my pet. Yeah. We love Gable. Yes. We do Maybe. love Gable. Maybe. Maybe. I don't Maybe. Know. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were I thought we were uh, following each other on Instagram, Blue Sasquatch. I thought we were. Yeah, I would, I'll check that out. I, I definitely will. Is this the bystander, Vic? Yeah. 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 I just, yeah, I forget I'd sketch them while I was here. Hear that, Vic? Everybody apart from you likes me. Well, everybody that matters, Milton says. Well, then you don't have to worry about me not liking you, Milton. Or I don't even know where you get that from because it's not that I don't like you. Ice Queen says I don't matter. Yes, you matter. Everyone matters. Uh, I'm watching on my TV and typing on my phone with two different accounts. I give two views and two likes. Thank you, Bone. Yeah, cool. That's that's wild. Yeah. Uh, you matter for more than Milton does, Caroline. What? You matter for more than Milton does, Caroline. I think fire mode. Oh, you, yeah, I can't read. You matter. I, I quit. I need to quit saying that. I can read. You, you matter far more than Milton does, Caroline. Wow. Uh, yay. Vic likes me. He now, uh, merits, Milton says. Bone with two thumbs up. Absolutely. And we have Lorenzo, hey, Lorenzo. Sleestack. Wait, where's that lizard representation? Far Lorenzo. Right now I have to find some lizard representation. <laughs> I'm sure I have some. Yeah, some good stuff yesterday. Oh yeah. 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 I can't well, see a lizard not think of Lorenzo. Ass. Huh? But the cold is kicking my ass today. <sighs> A dinosaur's a lizard, right? Sure. Yeah. Here's a comic book I have in my collection, although this is not the actual copy. Uh, copy. Now, see, I'm not that big into war stories either. My friend Elsie is. But now these old Star Spangled War stories from the Silver Age Shadow, uh -huh. um, they have dinosaurs in them. I see that. And the two guys... Uh, that fought against him was the original Suicide Squad. They called oh, him really? the Suicide Squad. Oh, cool. And so I've tried to collect, like, I think it's issue like 98 through, they had one that had like a talking, uh, geared up, you know, World War II gorilla. That was a Joe Kubert cover. I don't know about the insides. Uh, I know... Um, some of the latter ones had like Nick Cardi covers and um, also Gene Colan, which I always thought was primarily, and he was Marvel comics. He did some of the stories in these star spangled war stories. 
if you like Gene Colan stuff, although he didn't do a lot of them, uh, just toward the latter end of the run where they had the dinosaurs. And sometimes they'd have like giant chameleons, they uh, pterodactyls. Uh, uh, one time they had a Nazi giant, I think, to kick it off. So, you know, even though you're not into war stories like I'm not so much, uh, this kind of makes it fun with the... I'll tell you who drew most of these was Ross Andrews. So if you like Ross Andrew artwork, he was drawing Spider-Man when I started collecting. He was kind of the seminal uh, collector. Bone timed himself out? Oh, my. Bone timed his own... He timed his own ass out? <laughs> How do you manage that one? That's what Ice Queen was asking. Uh, I have a personal grudge against Milton. Proof of life, uh, Jess Carroll says. Uh, everybody likes the lizard man. Don't tell him I said that, Milton says. Lorenzo, uh, Jess Carroll says, Lorenzo, did you see the page I colored in the Discord? So is the other bone account bone adjacent, uh, Lorenzo asked. Uh, Milton says, how about you show all your family members first, Carol? Um, I says, I'm just cross with Milton at the moment. I don't really dislike him. It's his actions I'm disappointed in, him, in, in not him. Yeah, stir <laughs> up Milton. Cat bone is greater than dog bone, bone says. My family is all available for viewing on my other social media accounts. Uh, Carol says, uh, proof of life, Carol, or just stop stopping in batch, Milton. Uh, dinosaurs are both avian and crocodilian. Crocodilian. Wow. Is that a word? Crocodilian? <clears throat> avian means bird. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that birds are dinosaurs, uh, and the Earth is flat, right? Milton wanted me to drown. Whoa. Okay. Carol says Milton wanted me to drown. Not even in Minecraft. And then did a uh, a cope stream saying I had a stick up my uh, bum. Um, <laughs> just Carol, go to my Facebook on my. Uh, Instagram, Milton, my family is all there to be seen. That's not nice at all, Milton. Oh, yeah. F Milton, uh, says Carol. Her and Cockney. Really? If you, I mean, you really, you're going to bring all that up again? Been going at me for over a month, Ice Queen. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, look, Milton, just drop it. Don't give them attention. You know? Uh, Lorenzo. Uh, oh, it appears dinosaurs and crocodilia have a common ancestor. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Can't we all just get along, Bone says. Carol, just because you have a crush on Cockney doesn't mean that you have to be a bitch to me me and cookies issue uh isn't yours it's mostly his uh i only went at you after you said you wished you had well when does it stop yeah. let me moderate here when does it stop someone has to lay down what, the saber what, first what, yeah what's going on <sighs> why, why are they trying to kill each other Playing around in the chat. Yeah, I mean, one goes at one, and then the other. Last Queen says, if we were all just nice to each other, there wouldn't be any disagreements in other people's streams. Uh, I was nice to him till he said all that. Lemon pie. Hello, peeps. Hello, people. It was a drowning milk joke that Carol posted. Well, you know, if if the person is uh, offended by it, uh, go to that person quickly and, and ask them to forgive you. Um, and then hopefully, and if they don't drop it, it's their problem, you know. Uh, but I think we can be civil and treat each other nicely, even though we might privately hate each other's junk. Uh, guts. 
junk. <laughs> uh, and then JV, my JV's in the house now. He may crap is greater than Milton. Milton is greater than Carol. Wow. It's time to bury the hatchet, Bone says. You're a Trex. I'm a bit pissed now. I'm going to block the bitch, and then I might be back later. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Comics are booming. And uh, apparently YouTube is blowing up. My chat seems to be blowing up. Or trying to blow each other up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carol's getting a knife sharpening for a uh, knife sharpener sharpening. How about a knife sharpener for Christmas? New year, new year, new backstabbing. Wow. JV. <laughs> Let's double down on it. Whoa. Where, where are you going? <coughs> you get so skittish. So scared about things that move that shouldn't move. Good thing we don't have ghosts. Naughty or nice. That's right. Naughty or nice. It's your choice. Hit the like button, everyone. <laughs> Bone. <laughs> Tis true. <laughs> if you're feeling generous, uh, not a not a good time to bring it up. They might hit the dislike button. Oh, and Shadowhawk left. Uh, Milton kicked himself again. Milton uses his body to sharpen in his according to his videos. Okay. Uh, Christmas trolls. Yay. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. I'm glad the weather outside is not frightful yet, but it will be getting that way. So I have to call mom and see what we're doing for Christmas. And she'll probably say, I don't know yet. Your brother hasn't told me. We kind of go by his schedule, which is not always convenient. One year, he we celebrated Christmas, and I guess I should let that go. Yes, I love you, Carol, Ice Queen says. Uh, I mean, Carol, Caroline, I know that's not your real name, Carol, but, I mean, can't we all love each other? Yes, apparently we can. Love Caroline, yes. I don't know anyone that doesn't love Caroline, and if they have a problem with Caroline, then they... Uh, they've got problems. Uh, Pal Rider says, what's up, hookers? Oh, sorry, Shadowhawk. There we go. That's all right. My bad. Yeah. Hey, everybody drink. So you think uh, Star Spangled War Stories, uh, that might be enticing to you or not at all with the dinosaurs? and Oh, they had a giant white ape in there, too. Oh, to me? Yeah, I mean, to you. Be, yeah, it might be. I mean, but, yeah. You know, that's Sometimes a little twist. I, think uh, I, just... I, I just don't like the, you know, like the straight up war story type thing. Right. And that's, and I'm about the same way. I mean, um, so, but now that was something I could get behind, you know, uh, sort of the army men fighting. And Air Force and whatnot fighting uh, dinosaurs and giant chameleons and I always like the I always like the 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 horror based ones like you know the the ghost tank uh, yeah yeah something like that's cool yeah zombie soldiers come oh back. you mean the uh, jab and the, and the <laughs> haunted tank stories the what. The haunted tank stories, is that what you're talking about? I think so, yeah. Yeah, where you had like Jeb Stewart, uh, the ghost of Jeb Stewart from the Civil War that accompanied their tank into World War II? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, I see, you know, there's a, you know, I think everybody had one of those stories where, whoever the team was like you know, sergeant rock or whatever they yeah. would go up against a, a tank that was being you know it was a ghost tank it was being run by skeletons you know oh yeah yeah well you're thinking maybe <laughs> weird war tales or something like that huh yeah like, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, Weird War Tales was pretty neat. And some of those are hard to find on eBay. I know. I've looked. Sleepy maybe Vic. We, maybe we just need to draw maybe we just need to draw modern day ones. Does that mean you're sleepy, Caroline, or does that mean Vic is sleepy? Sleepy Vic. Am I sleepy? Did I yawn? And, what, and what's WB? What is WB? WB Shadow. Welcome back. Welcome back, Shadow. Oh, welcome back, Shadow. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll get these little shortcuts. I might okay. um I might actually, uh, um, yeah, I, I might actually be tired. I haven't slept. I would think so. Yeah. You didn't sleep at all? No. No, I got, I got, uh, so I was streaming up until like, uh, 9 30. And it was like right at, it was like right at that, at that point where I got a, a text from my brother saying, I'm five minutes away. We're going to go see mom. I'm like, shit, I got to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been kind of. That was kind of short notice. Yeah. It was cool, though. We had a nice long visit with my mom. And uh, and we got them. They're going to replace uh they, the, the home puts uh, TVs in the rooms, and they only had one TV for, like, uh, it, they kind of had it sort of in the middle between my mom and her roommate, but um, I think they're going to give my mom her own TV, because the other lady keeps breaking her TV. The other lady keeps breaking her TV? Yeah, she keeps knocking it, knocking it off, and it's it's they they only give them like you know little twenty two inch, oh okay, you know flat things, you know they they're just basically like the computer, computer they're essentially just computer screens, you know yeah, and so if they crack, if they fall and they crack, then you lose half the the screen, you know, you know what I mean, Joey? I do. I like Rex calls them shortcuts. <laughs> Welcome back, Boomer. Who are you calling Boomer, Bone? Shadowhawk? Yeah. That's all right. <clears throat> Hang it on the wall. Says Vic sounds tired. Hang it on the wall so it can't be knocked down. Yeah, they have little things called they flat should. screens. But that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm, I was surprised that they don't. Or a yeah. bracket or something, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, just Carol says, Vic, I ordered a new laptop. It's coming from Peabody. Can you go pick it up and bring it to me by Sunday? Dang. <laughs> that would be a hard no. I'll answer for him. It's it's not it's not Peabody. It's not coming from Peabody. It's coming from Peabody. Peabody, Massachusetts. Not I Peabody. went through Pe I went through puberty early in life. Peabody, not puberty. Peabody. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. This girl says uh, my dad bought it for me. If you break the roommate's legs, she won't be able to walk around and destroy TVs. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I know. Yeah, but okay, that, right. that can get you arrested, like Vic. Apparently, I knew it. <laughs> You knew what? The city's on fire tonight. If that right? comment was Pale Rider. I wasn't even looking at the chat. As soon as he said it, I was like, up, oh, that's Pale Rider. <laughs> uh, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, was released in uh, Japan on this day in 1964. Wow. Uh, yeah, here's a shot. There's just some lizard representation, along with Mothra in the larval state. Would yeah. you call that a uh, caterpillar state? I guess. Caterpillar, yeah, the caterpillar, larva, yeah. larvae state. Larvae. Yeah. Put the eye on the end. And uh, keep your finger up in the air. Hoity toity. Oh, wow. And that picture, too, flying was Rodan. 
as well. Uh, What'd you say, Shadow? Nothing important. No. Nothing no. important. <laughs> Uh, I shared this. This was interesting. The original patent for the 1891 for toilet paper roll actually shows the uh, correcting correct rolling direction. <laughs> is there a correct rolling direction? I suppose there is. Uh, yeah. I guess that would be essential information, right? Yeah. And what did people use before that? I guess we'll wait till Eric and Boyd comes in to answer that he seems to be an expert love you eric uh just carol says i'm so excited for this laptop it will be able to handle Streamyard, clip studio and photoshop without crashing or making me sound like a robot i can't keep my cool. eyes open any longer not all xxx see you caroline uh, Good night, caroline and i'll ask the question for you oh shadowhawk when is the next chapter going to be coming uh, as soon as I get over this cold. There you go. He's He's been under the weather. Um, thank you, Carol. Good night, Carol. Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. And Eric and Boyd in with the little dumpster fire there. A little dump. <laughs> I thought you might be lurking. Um, call upon the name and they show up. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your cartoon. I wish I had Jesse's grill, the middle aged Rick Springfield. Yeah. Yeah. I could have met him once, but I was being a total, you know. Now, I got to tell you, when my kid was going to school, teachers still look like teachers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. They still look like normal, professional adults. Right. If my kid was going to school now and I walked in and, and, and saw that this was my, my kid's teacher, I would say, oh, hell no. And yank uh, yeah. them right the fuck out of school. Yeah. And they would, yeah. I mean, like, you, my kid don't have my kid in a different class. And you can see the the rainbow flag behind her. I mean, you know exactly what she stands for. They they shouldn't even allow her to put that up in a in a. Well, no. they should have never. You don't. Mm -hmm. you, you don't. If you can <laughs> act professional, if you can be professional. Uh, there, yeah, anybody's, well, anybody's sex or sexuality, it shouldn't just stop with no her, point. it should be the principal, the superintendent. Yeah. There should be a people up in arms about that indoctrination of the kids and on it's, sexuality. It's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not freaking, um, homophobia or, or prejudice or anything like that, according nobody, to them, it is, nobody, and that's all that matters, Vic. <laughs> Nobody's sexuality. Nah, that's all that matters. Nobody's sexuality belongs in school. My, no dissent. Shush. Yeah. Oh, we should be yeah, raising holy hell. I think that's the only thing that we've uh, even had a blip on the radar, Vic. Well, well I just don't children. understand. I just don't understand parents now that that just yeah. Eric. Well, I mean, that you they look at the that they, that they walk into a classroom and they're not like just immediately yanking their kids out of school. When's the last time that you actually picked up your kid at school? Oh, I mean, it's been a long time. Like well, I said, I did it a few years ago with other people's kids because I was picking them up to take them to um, karate class, and you have parents that look disheveled no makeup wearing pjs they're wearing pajamas and they pick their kids up so it, it begins with uh, looking in the mirror and having some self-respect for your kid for yourself 
uh, take some pride in yourself. Come on, make make some kind of effort. Today, my grandkids. I know it's perpetual, right? You have kids, and you have grandkids, and you have great grandkids. Uh, you know, having children in your life is a never-ending story. We had a creepier a creeper alert last week. I don't think, well, we get amber alerts, but I don't think we've got a creeper alert. What's a creeper alert? Is that like... It's just a warning that there's uh, a potential... Uh, sexual predator? Yeah, pet, yeah. Pedo yeah. or something in the... Yeah. Yeah. Hanging around the school or whatever. You know. Yeah, I'll pay good money for those fleece jammies. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm wearing pajama bottoms right now. But... You know, they could be, I've went out in public with them, but I wear a oh, shirt that's. I tell you, I, I like, uh, long, you know. Long shirt and jacket and everything. Um, I, I just like my classic old school uh, Fruit of the Loom sweatpants with the, with the pockets. You know what I mean? Well, as long as you don't go out in your underoos. And if you yeah. did go out in your underoos, what character would it be? Thor? If I went out in my underoos? Yeah. Would it be Thor? I wouldn't go out in my underoos. <laughs> yeah. No, the correct answer is I don't own underoos. No, I own underoos. I don't even own underoos, and I never own any underoos. And and if I had I got, some, I, they would be vintage collectibles by now. I got, I got, I got, I got Thor, I got Thor boxers. Yeah, well, well not underoos, but I mean, you know, same yeah. thing. Yeah, you know, I got. Yeah, is he holding his hammer, or is yeah. hammer not required? He's holding something. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Laugh out loud! I got picked. Uh, pick my just an, it's just an open hand like this right at the uh, <laughs> uh, no I would hope not the Boston behemoth <laughs> <laughs> Leviathan confirmed <laughs> Vic wears thong panties we all know this Carol says yeah, Vic would be the Boston cream pie man. Woo! <laughs> Such hatred. Such vitriol. <laughs> Such levity. Oh, what are you barking about, dog? And where is Daisy? He's taking that. All curled up and keeping warm. Yeah, she's hanging out with Big Sister. Oh, Abigail. What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. That squirrel out there fucking with me. Oh, wow. I didn't know uh, Donahue that was uh, born on this day in 1935, which he would have been the age of my mother. Bill Donahue? He would be 87, yeah, if he was still alive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's a picture of him married to that girl. Yeah, I was going to say. Does anybody know her girl. name? Marlo Thomas. Marlo Thomas, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize they were married. Yeah, for a long time. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Well, she was quite the looker back in the day. Well, yeah, she was. Abigail. Notice how she heeds my every word. Yeah. <laughs> so obedient. So obedient, yes. <laughs> Abigail, quit. It's going to be okay. <sighs> Ever the final word. Uh, curds sound gross, don't they? Bean curd is my least favorite. Abby's crappy for the tabby. 
from the tabby. Oh, crabby. Abby's crabby from the tabby. <laughs> it's not cream. It's curd. Yeah. I gotta think of what I want to eat. What I want for supper. Might I make a suggestion? Yeah. Ravioli. Uh, no. <laughs> Not even a, a can in Tashi. Uh, yeah. I had raviolis a few days ago. Hey. Yeah. I mean, they're good. I like them, but I can't, you know. Anybody heard anything about this uh, 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 character? Lately? Uh, no. Oh, shit. What's going on with his... He's... Well, I guess, I I I guess no he's idea. fulfilling Wreck Planet, and then he'll get on this one. Yeah. Rainbow the Brute. Yeah, he's already been working Abigail. on pages for Rainbow. Is he, is, has he started fulfilling yet? Is Are the books even in yet? What's no, I was magnanimous uh, Carol, and I let all the girls today. out um, of the basement supposed, just for the Christmas season. Supposed to be getting the test, uh, the proof prints back here shortly, um, like in the next day or two, and then uh, we'll start getting the books out as soon as they print them up. But they're, you know, printer issues. You know. What can you do? I'm, I mean, I, I'm excited to get it. I can't wait to get oh, yeah. my. I can't wait to get my salamandroid, salamandroid, in in um, cyber frog. Yeah, my PVC figure. You know. Oh, me too. Yeah, I've been waiting on that myself. Yep. Yeah, they're very nice. Oh, God. Back early and don't put it with a book. Uh, I guess you get it, you know, a year ahead of time, huh? Of all of the rest of us. Yeah, I ordered extras, Rex. Oh yes, yes. I'm just hoping he remembers that the people, you know, I, you know, that he hasn't sold out of the the ones that that are supposed to go to us. You know what I mean? That's what uh, I know. Yeah. I know he has it, but. He's got everything put, you know, aside already. You just waiting on books now. Well, uh, I mean, the thing of it is, they'll probably be sent separate anyway. No. Yeah, I don't think he. Well, I don't know if he's got got any. We're supposed to get the printed box. Yeah, the printed shipping box. That was part of the whole. That was part of the whole deal. Yeah, you know that I mean? might be lost in translation. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm... My last printed boxes were crushed, so I, I don't care about the printed box. Yeah, not unless you're going to put it in another box, you know? Well, I mean, uh, they were going to go with the chicken box, but it grew so exponentially, you can't do that. So, I guess you could have expounded on it. Uh, really, the best way to do is a box within a box. And with the windows on the boxes, uh, the, like the large salad <laughs> Android box, right? What's that? Do you have yours handy there, Shadow, to show us? Or do you, you kept yours in the box, didn't you? Um, no, I will. I got uh, Sal and Sire right here. Okay, wait a minute. You I'm have it out of the box. Yeah. So. And how long is the tail on that thing? Uh, it's like 18 inches and it's got a bendy in it. So you can do all kind of wacky stuff. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it cost okay. him like $2.00. More to make it bendy, yeah, right. So, uh, those yeah, look larger than what I was expecting, really. Oh, dude, they're, they're really they're paint, they're painted nice, like, yeah, the details are beautiful. Look at Cyber Frog there, yeah, nice, yeah. nice silver on the silvers, uh, cells. I mean, everything's really nice on these. 
you guys will be happy when they get there. Yeah. Yeah, I like the the fact that the 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 pauldrons, the balls are uh, like a gun metal versus the shining silver of the right, like a matte right. metal. The plating, right. right? Yeah, more of a I matte like metal. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got a a gold set and then another set coming with my uh, red planet box. So. John yeah, F. Kennedy I, I said, I will splinter the CIA off. into a thousand pieces and scatter it into the wind. Yeah, let me know how that worked out. For right. you. Yeah, shortly shortly after that, pow. In and around your cranium. In, in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what if his last words to Jacqueline Onassis were, let me share something with you. Or, or, uh, kiss me, baby. I, I gotta get this. I gotta get this off my head. <laughs> yeah, just, just talking off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, JV. What's JV say? He said the CIA would splinter his brain into a thousand pieces and scatter it to the wind. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, well, well, we're under a high wind advisory from now until Christmas. So, uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, but we're not going to have, like, we're going to go, we're going to, like, Friday is going to be 55, almost 55 degrees. Since you live, day, yeah. Next day it's going to be 25. That's not bad. Be we're going to be in single digits. We're going to be about, like, five degrees. No, I don't like that. No, <laughs> no, I don't like that yeah, either. It's, at any it's probably time of headed year. your way, man. It's supposed to be around here till Saturday, so it'll probably start heading your way. It'll Saturday. probably go over there to Boston. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's that darn global warming. I know. <laughs> them, them global warmings. No, I mean our our ten day forecast. Uh, the coldest days are going to be uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas, and then it's back up to the 30s, and then back up into the mid 40s. Oh wow! You guys yeah. missed all of it then, huh? Yeah. All right, let's show uh, a campaign we haven't shown in a while. Uh, show them some love. How about that? Some Frog G. Little Frog G. We'll play the trailer. Oh, little Frog Jojo. Conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the way he loves. <laughs> Only on Indiegogo. Yeah, I backed it last night. Backer number 260. Perhaps you could take a look at it and back it as well. My dog is scratching. Because that's what dogs do. <laughs> Occasionally. Yeah, animation by Pedro Ang. Why do they call him Ang? That's not really his last name, Pastmaster Dan. Why do they call him I Ang? A nickname or something. I, I know he goes by Ang, you know, on YouTube, but I never, I just call him Pedro. I never call him Ang because that's not his name. Uh, but that's what everybody uh, knows. Might be a reference to, uh, wasn't there a famous director named Ang? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. He worked on one of the Marvel movies, I believe. Is that the guy that did the uh, first Hulk movie? Oh, yeah. Yep. 
I think you're correct on that. I think it might have been. Yeah, I, I don't know that it has anything to do with that or not. It's just a guess. I don't know. Now, Shadowhawk, I know you yes. backed it. Yes. 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 Have you gotten your uh, snowman a cold day in hell? No, no, it's not even done yet. Yeah. Matt's still still working working on it. On. How big um, a book is that going to be? I think it's going to be 48 or, or 60, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, Ethan said he's been getting pages regularly from uh, Matt. He's just been so busy yeah. with Cyberfrog and stuff, he's been forgetting to do updates. What about um, Creed? Creed, Creed I've not heard, of, heard about lately. Uh, Haven't heard about that lately. I, I think that one already, that one already came out though. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that one came out. Okay. And then Matt's almost done, according to Ethan. It should be coming shortly. So. Yeah, those were two that I would like to back, but alas. Oh, I can't wait to see Snowman, dude. Matt Martin is an amazing artist. Yeah. Well, both both look great. You know, Creed and... Uh, yeah. yeah. And I... I was, I was never, like... I mean, I, I, I liked uh, Trent and, and Creed and stuff, but I was never a huge... Or Snowman, fan. not Iceman. That's okay. Yeah. Snowman, I... Yeah, Snowman, it was right in my wheelhouse. Creed was a yeah. little... You know, the style's a little more cartoony and stuff. Um, so not quite as, as the top of my list, but still good. Oh, yeah. We got Laura B in the house. Hey, Laura B, what's going on? You just hey, buzzing. Hey, say hi. hey, Laura B. Howdy, howdy, Laura. Laura Tiny B here. has not been in here before, so Hello, why Tiny. don't I give her a wrench? Before, ha oh, wow, Farscape. Oh, hey, there, too. Is on Comet. I guess that's another streaming thing. Comet. Hen and Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Oh. Hey, Hen. Creed uh, shipped, and I got mine. Lady. Gable Penny Shot says. Did you like it? I mean, the art looked great. I used to love Farscape. That was a good show. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was the flagship thing on the, on the Hey, Hen. Uh, on the sci-fi. On the sci-fi channel, yeah. Yep. But I thought it was a uh, you know pretty well written, uh, well acted. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I've got all the seasons and stuff. Yeah, interesting characters. And, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, Vic series just muted for a minute. All right. No, I'm not muted. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, I thought you were for a second. Sorry. Do you know uh, the actor Conrad? Well, was asking if you were here. Conrad Veit, uh, Vic. Uh, a movie the, he did was an inspiration for the Joker. For the Joker, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he looked uh, the the man who laughs. He also did a movie called Nazi Spy that was good. He did the cat uh, silent movies. He was a German hmm. actor. He'd yeah, make man. a pretty good villain, wouldn't he? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. He's got a good villainous look to him. He played he's definitely a got the uh, Nazi. hairline for it. Huh? He's got that villain hairline down there. You know, that big forehead. Well, slick back hair. Yeah, I mean, fa yeah. I mean, as far as facial features, I guess I'm asking. Well, I'm just saying his whole look. Yeah, he's very villainy. Yes, Joseph Dredd says Buffy, uh, Farscape, and X Files are on Comet. Buffy. Vic, we need you to draw cheeks for us. What does that mean? Hey, Marvel. <laughs> you guys will have to. You guys will have to explain that one to me. What do you need, Abigail? 
You're awful needy. Right. Around 1970, Mom bought three old dishwashing soap because affixed to the bottles were two pixie dolls. Not just one, but two, apparently. How does that work? And they're only showing one here. Precursors to Elf on a Shelf. Uh, we trouted them out for two decades after that. One red, one green. And they sure as hell weren't a couple of narcs from the surveillance state, bitches. No. Oh, man, I had one of these. Are you kidding? I always wondered why his hands were tied together. And now I know. Went around the bottle. I had one of those. Look at that. Kind of fuzzy picture, but yeah, oh, I, yeah. Used to, I used to play with that thing. We yeah, had those when I was a kid. My mom used to use them for Christmas decorations. Yeah, they they came from Thrill uh, line, uh, uh, detergent. So. Huh. Who knew? Isn't that something? Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, I had forgotten that. Yeah, a little fact. I always wondered why they their hand was in a little mitt, you know, a little yeah. muff, a little warming muff. That was to go around the bottle. Yeah, that's exactly. wild. Wow, I learned something new every day. Yay! I can retire <laughs> now, at least for the day. There you go. Oh, here's an African fire skink. Have you ever seen an African fire skink? I've uh, seen skinks. I don't know if I've seen a Look at that. Skink. Ooh, very colorful. That's a pretty lizard. Yeah. Uh, I think the coloring's probably a warning to others, wouldn't you think? I would, yeah, I would guess, yeah. But, I mean, what's going to be afraid of a skink? Uh, I don't know. Not much, probably. <laughs> we need visual help for Vic, for Laura. Margo says, hey, Margo. Slipped in on me. Uh, why are you women trying to be dirty influences on Laura? Well, it is a naughty night or naughty or nice stream, I suppose. She needs visual. She needs visual drawn aids of a dirty Sanchez. Uh, oh no! Past Master Dan says send Lord. weed. Are, are you low on your herbage? Is that it, Past Master Dan? You need weed. I don't think we can send that legally through the mail quite just quite yet. Troll a stream. I disavow these dirty minded women, Gable says. Vic has standards, Laura. <laughs> All right, J B. N I G. Just saying. Wow. Where'd that come from, J B? What? Whoa. Jalapeno Fritos are delicious. Oh, I can't do jalapeno. Pegasus. I love jalapeno. What? Is that you singing, Vic? No. Somebody in the hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. I, I don't guess you'll miss that when you move. No. Definitely legal. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, definitely illegal. Don't do it. No. Oh. Misread that and sent you a kilo. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> hey, you know, they got me on a list anyway. You mind, Craig? Red Rover, Red Rover. Send the FBI right over. <laughs> Poppers. Oh, you want a woman with uh, Carly Simon lips, Eric? How about Betty Davis eyes? She's got Betty Davis eyes. Or, or Betty Davis. Davis. Or Betty Davis eyes. 
Uh, Hen says, right. Anyway, we will leave you to it. Have fun, guys. Uh, Gable Penny Shot says, get out of here, you game. weirdos. Did they just do a raid from their own stream just to come over here and ask me to draw a... Uh, I think, yeah, that's true. I think uh, that's exactly what that was. <laughs> I don't even know what a dirty thing is. No, says. Betty Davis is creepy. Okay. Hey, Ginko. I'm, I'm not corrupt like like these people. I don't know what that's. Kind of a roving, a roving stream game. <laughs> I know. Buddy. This game of British women just ran up in the air, demanding, you know. demanding porn. <laughs> you know, roll yeah, off I'll... on their little Vespas. <laughs> All four people righted, JV says. Yeah. It's good JV to see you, Gecko. I haven't seen you in a while. JV be having that, JV be having that bad blood with <laughs> these British gals. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I don't know about these women. I've never had that problem. Vampirus uh, Camellia. Hey, Hell Rider's uh Hell Rider's ears perked up. He heard porn. Uh -huh. <laughs> you may continue. <laughs> <laughs> Women are a distraction. Focus on yourself, Kings. Have you seen this title? I'm not sure I've ever seen this title. Vampirus Camellia? Car Car Carmilla. It's a great cover, though. Yeah. Have you ever seen that title? Yeah. You have? Okay. How about you, Shadow? Sorry, I didn't hear that. But, right. Have you ever <coughs> seen by uh, Vampirus uh, Carmilla as a title? Uh, no, if I did, I would have grabbed it. This is sure. issue 13. I've never seen that title. Uh-uh. It was um yeah TV Warren TV. Publishing yeah. yeah the same one that came out with Vampira I guess Vampirella Vam Vampirella sorry oh Warren mm -hmm. okay they Vampire did a lot of bags like that I yeah. think was like uh, yeah. well they well, changed like, the uh, comic code in the early seventies and then there was an influx of all those great Bronze Age magazines and. There you go. There's a beautiful little crocodile uh, skink. He's a pretty little thing. It was Warren Publishing. Says Bassmaster. Well, Danny. Curtis yeah. did. Curtis did some of that too. Yeah. Red-eyed crocodile skink. That's what that was. Red-eyed crocodile skink. Kind of like. You're all good, Laura B. You're all good. I think they must be drunk because I think they really thought I would draw it. <laughs> yeah. I might on their channel. I don't know whether I, I wouldn't do it on Rex's channel. Here's one of those Curtis. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, here's one of those Curtis magazines. Marvel Preview versus the Punisher. I have a few of those. That I bought uh, a couple years ago. Well, sorry, at least I subscribed. Thank you, Laurel B. I was hoping you would. Um, and do you have a channel, Laura? You have a wrench. You can drop a link to your channel. I definitely like to uh, reciprocate with you. Uh, but they need to be a little drunker, JV says. They're going to get Lorenzo aroused with all those photos, Rex. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to. Yeah. I had the black and white Hulk by Simonson somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I love I love those. Uh, that's why I got Shadowhawk uh, collecting was those rampaging Hulks. Yep. 
I bought one back in the day where he goes up against uh, Submariner. The first ever admission ticket to Disneyland sold in 1955. And uh, here's a picture of it. I, I wonder, it, because they're numbered, this was the first ticket sold. I wonder what that thing's worth today as a collectible. I have no it's idea. One and only. It's got to be a very, it's, you know, it's a priceless item. You can't, how do you put a price tag on that? You know? Right. But I, I, you know, if I was to estimate, I would say three to four thousand five. You know, it's subjective. Like you say, if somebody wants to give a hundred, I guess it's based on what people want to give for that little piece of paper. Yep. You know, they could give a hundred thousand and then they could give a million. It's a one of a kind item. And yet it's not, I mean, it is, it's the very first one. It has the number one on it. It's a fake. It will be worth more when Disney folds. You think so? Maybe immediately after they fold? Depends on what Disney's reputation is when they fold. Disney go, well, and di well, I mean, if they're on good terms, they're probably not going to fold, right? They're still going to make money. I feel sorry for the studio that produced, uh, well, I really don't feel sorry for them, but uh, that, that produced that huge bomb that there is in the process of, uh, and I'm not talking ALC's movie. I'm talking uh, Avatar 2. Oh, yeah. That's a stinker. Or it's going gonna, it's gonna to stink as far as uh, sales. Let's put it that way. Premium yeah, or unleaded? Well, we used to say leaded or un, un, unleaded. We still call it unleaded gas, but leaded gas hasn't been in your fuel tank since the 70s. Did Laura B say if she had a channel? I don't think so. That. Let's see if I can. Can I? I don't even think I can click on her icon. Can I? No. And bring it up. So sad. Oh, no. That's how I. I know how to do that, right? Duh. Okay. All right, Laura B. I'm going to check out and go to your channel. May I share the link, Laura B? With the chat? There. I have subbed to you and ring oh. the bell for all notifications. Oh, good Lord. They regret making Jaws? Why? Because it wasn't woke enough. No. Oh. Because it scared so many people. There's too much uh, toxic masculinity, not enough diversity. No, I didn't. I didn't hear where Spielberg and uh, Ben Should have been a great black shirt. Regret riding Jaws. Everything's so retro. I can't wait to like the woke eyes out of all of fucking existence. Yeah. They were lamenting the sharks being hunted down. Hey, yeah. smoking rice. Woo, pig suey. Giving a giving a giving oh. giving uh giving sharks like a a bad reputation, you know. Well I I heard recently Uh, that there wasn't 
you know, as far as horror films, I don't know if you could say that's a horror film. I think I think you could classify it as a horror film. It's probably the scariest horror film in there because no one looked at the uh, influential horror film because it no one looked at the water the same after that movie. I would say they're probably pretty right about that. Exactly, Death Pusher. Exactly. I bet they don't regret the uh, paychecks from Jaws. Yeah. Hell no. Millions of dollars that they made. They don't regret that. That, that really, in my mind, cemented Spielberg in the minds of people. Was that movie? The fact that they got these, the fact that they got these people right, um, who are still in Hollywood, still doubling down on virtue signal. It's fucking disgusting. Fucking James Cameron should be fucking embarrassed. Well, fuck him. Oh, dirty fatty says, Vic, I submitted in all caps letter. So he's shouting. Vic, I submitted that art to Camel's Twitter. Beautiful, bro. Awesome. He wants to make sure you see it. <sighs> okay on the wrong screen there welcome old dirty fatty good luck old dirty fatty here's your wrench old dirty fatty i enjoyed you being on with vic last night a little hey, bit didn't cool see dude. much of it huh o odf is a cool dude yeah yeah he's fun to have on yeah, yeah. First time in here. So there's your wrench, brother. It's good to see Smoking Wraith in here as well. Haven't seen you in, uh, you know, a minute or two. All caps is masculine. Yeah. Well, I must be exuding testosterone because that's all I do pretty much. Oh, <laughs> you says testosterone. <laughs> You say testosterone. All right. Well, if you're a man, you can say it either way you want. Testosterone. Test. Te testosterone. Okay. Testosterone. Testosterone. I got you. Test, test, test. Like testes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Toast you know, is what you have for, for breakfast. Well... Yeah, I guess things are heating up, right? Oh, I wish there was a place that had a good, like, just a good, like, breakfast, you know? Like a diner breakfast, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, egg, sometimes you just over, want, yeah. Yeah. Eggs over easy with toast and home fries and bacon, you know? Oh. Make me hungry here. Hey, look at that. Not really. I'm nice grilled top steak and eggs. Mm. Here is a great book. I think I have this in my collection. I think I do. I, I know I've had it. I think I still have it. Probably saw it and bought it on eBay. Uh, comics, A History of Comic Books in America by Les Daniels. Uh, Gabe says, Gable says, uh, I like that Vic is correcting pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. Testosterone is not the ideal way to pronounce testosterone, Rex. Exactly right. Like testis. Yes. A rope on a phone. A rope on a Testosterone sounds like the pizza snacks that Finatra eats. <laughs> Carol says. <laughs> Testo Tost Testosteronies. <laughs> Smoking Rice says, we'll let you slide, devil, this time. Is that a Santa cap or is that your regular cap that you're wearing, Smoking? I wish somebody would make a Santa cap for my Devil Flyer icon. Only I knew how, Rick. 
Oh, here's your here's your daily werewolf. If we have it now, I'm not going to get into we we I can find lizard representation better than I can werewolf. But here's a werewolf. I think that's Don Heck artwork actually. Mm. The Beyond. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Well, I tried. I tried, buddy. I don't know. Okay. Weird, no, spooky, well. supernatural stories. All for 10 cents. The Phantom Puppet, Masters of the Undead, and other strange stories. The Werewolf Strikes. All that for a dime. Black, sensitive cover. Uh, from November 1950. A great uh, cover by, oh, I was wrong. Warren uh, uh, Creamer. Oh. Hey, Vic, when did you do a werewolf? Hmm? Did you just do a werewolf recently? Gave a penny shot, so you just did one. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have to finish inking it for him. It's almost, almost done. Hold on, Luis. Did you do yeah, it for Gable? Yes. Cool. Really? All right. Good man, Gable. Of course. Good, good man, it's Gable. Book, it's for Baron Von Fang. It's for a little project that he's putting together with oh. some, other, At first. some other people. It's called Hair Team Six. Okay. Oh, okay, I did see a little bit of this one. Cybernetic the, uh, werewolf. Cybernetic huh? arm. Yeah, yeah, no, cybernetic yeah. no this cool. is the first time I've seen that. Yeah. And the female on the other side there. I was like, at first, I was like, uh, yeah, that doesn't look like any werewolf I've ever seen. <laughs> but, uh, but neither <laughs> does this one. Right. Yeah, pre transformation, right. <laughs> yeah. Baron von Fang. Is that really his name? Baron Von Fang. That's cool. I like it. Is that the character's real name? Baron Von Fang? Uh, it's, it's Gable's character, so it must be. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Santa Claus, I know you are a busy man. I don't want you to waste your time thinking about what toys I might like. Make it easy on yourself this year. Just bring me money, preferably 10s and 20s. <laughs> yes. That was a, a uh, Lucy from Charlie Brown writing to Santa. Hey, Lucy. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm just joking. I hate Christmas. Here, Team Six. Fuck the rest. Wow. Okay. No, that's what Gable's saying. Right. Lucy's a slut. Yeah, don't you know it? Uh, I'm asking for gold nuggets, but bricks if available. Yeah, but those are harder to liquidate uh, in hard times, smoking right? Oh, that kind of werewolf. I thought we were talking the Mylan werewolf. Past Master Dan says poop. Nice oh. robo wolf. Hair Team 6 forever. Well, I hope you have some uh, hairspray. <laughs> Good flea bath. Well, uh, are does any other you have any advice for me, or maybe the chat for the weather uh, getting down really cold? Dress warm. Yeah. Yeah. Stay inside. <laughs> Stay inside. Yeah. Frosty. I don't have a choice. Wonderful. I have to go out. Vic, did you have any vinyl records like like this Frosty or something else? You know, maybe Christmas singers or something you listened to growing up? When no. You were maybe real young? No. I mean, my mom had vinyl records. 
Yeah, well, I played my mother's vinyl records. I don't know if she had that. I don't think she had that one. I think there was some Christmas stuff, though. I think my mom had. Yeah, you never never did entice you to play it? Well, my, my mom didn't let us really play, a, a, like, her records, you know? I mean, like, she was very, you know. Yeah, cut some firewood. Yeah, she was very she was very possessive of them, you know. Definitely, yeah. I I did that the other day. Start your vehicle, and warm it up before you go to bed. Oh hell no! Before I go to bed. <laughs> but make sure that you 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 grab a blanket and sleep in the car in the garage. And you're out of the gas. Yeah, you're out of gas when you get up, or you if have you, a happy if you, time. if you get if you get up. If you get up, yeah. I mean the fumes, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't do that in the garage, an enclosed uh, area. Not not be healthy. What do you think about these women, these young girls, and everything uh, getting their breasts cut off? Oh, let's not get into that. That just it saddens me, man. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're doing this to kids. It's wrong. Yeah, yeah. I don't see how they're getting away with it. I mean, uh, I don't know why people the, just aren't outraged. Because the government's letting them get. The government's encouraging this shit. Yeah, yeah. Them and the and the uh, the uh, quote mainstream media, right? Yeah. Well, the mainstream media is just another arm of government. It's just, oh, yeah. It's propaganda. propaganda. Just saying that is painful, Rex. I know. Yeah, I'm with you on the school thing. If I saw a teacher like that, I don't think that this being homophobic. I just think that's looking out for the best interest of your child. Uh, but then again, some people don't think that way. But I think they're the minority. I think they're like a, they puff themselves up and try and make themselves look larger than. Uh, I don't know. Lives really Liv of Tick Lives of TikToks is is exposing a ton of these. You know, it's like every day there's a new one. You know what I mean? Like. No, can you clarify yourself? I mean, you're saying they're exposing who on TikTok? Libs of TikTok. Libs, libs of TikTok. Yeah. You know that, that Twitter account that exposes all these leftist teachers? Yeah. And, and they're all their crazy TikTok messages that they put out there? Oh, yeah, 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 what they put on TikTok, yeah. Right. Well, I, I, you know, I don't know. It gets all into the state thing. You know, I would send them home or send them home with pay, put them on suspension or something. I don't know. I mean, at very least while you look into things, but. For me, if I had my way, they would be out and right. They wouldn't have been hired in the first place. I guess they passed that massive bill, didn't they? That no one got to read. Of course. Probably. Was that really over a trillion? Was that over a trillion yeah. dollars? You know something? If 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 the if the voters don't come through and really just Fucking lay, you know. I don't know. They got to vote these these rhinos out. These rhinos have to go. Yeah. And you're you're not even talking the Democrats. You're talking the Republicans. So yeah. I, yeah. I agree. They're no they're no different than the Democrats. Well, one of the Democrats had been in there fifty years. He just said goodbye. They're aging out. But another generation is going to take just take their their place. If if pressure is not brought to bear, we'll have, you know, ALC in there for fifty years. 
and and her ilk. You got too many people have interests wrapped up in. Um, oh, it's paid off. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of money exchanging hands. A lot of money exchanging hands. A lot of money. Oh, Joseph says $1.7 trillion and $45 billion to Ukraine. Yeah. And a lot of that's going to come back here. That's just money laundering. I would think. Uh, absolutely. You got you got people like Lindsey Graham and you know, obviously you got a ton of Democrats. You got a ton of Republicans too. You got Lindsey Graham, you got uh um Turtleneck, whatever his name is. Yeah. He's not doing anything, but he knows how to uh retain his power. They all need to go. They all need to Oh, they go. definitely need to go. Yep. They definitely need to go. Now, when I think of the inner man, Vic, I think of this type of thing. Old, uh, all white costume character. Yeah, but that's not what you said he was. Yes, he is. Okay. He's a, he he's a well. I mean, he's human perfection. He's he he does know martial arts. I mean, he's not just a martial artist, but he does know different yeah, fighting you, styles. You said no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking uh -huh. about like you, you said. It's not a suit. It's he's like a, a energy essence or whatever. You know. You said like he's. What? You know, yeah, you, you told me don't give him any, you know, give him as little definitive form as possible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like no facial details except for the eyes, you know, right. things like that. Right. <clears throat> but it is a costume. No, you didn't. Well, you didn't tell me it was a costume. Yeah. I you thought know, you were leaning. You didn't have me he was like you, made out of light or something, right? Yeah, you didn't have I me give him gloves or anything, or right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything bad. We can, you know, whatever going forward, we can always do that. No, I, I don't, don't want. I, I, I just want. You know, I do outlines of characters. Okay. I mean, I had you draw a whole page of nothing but outline of characters, right? Well, yeah, those are, but and those are energy based, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, those characters are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have a storyline in mind for them. Uh, the old trope of a Nazi experiment, and those are going to be some psychotic, psychotic characters. For sure. In fact, I could probably work in one of the one of the characters into that horror comic we're gonna do. That will be very interesting story when it is told. Yeah, I just came across that child's classroom teacher again. Yeah, there's no way in hell. No way yeah. in hell. I, I would be that. calling for a special meeting of the uh, of the yeah, board I'd, over I'd somebody talk, like that. I'd want to talk to the principal. I'd want to talk to everybody. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Overreactive? I don't know. No, no you can't overreact when it comes to your kids. No. Well, that's the only thing that we're even talking about really it's sad that that's uh, all that we're oh there you go devil flyer christmas ho 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 <laughs> super parakeet man okay Please tell me there's a liner in flowers. Uh, 
is Vic with a Bic? Is Vic inking with a Bic? Oh, okay. No, Are you it, inking with a Bic? No, it's um. No, no. A, a Pigma Sensei, Pigma Sensei, oh. by uh. No need to start it? cursing at everybody. Micron makes these. Micron makes these. Yes, McConnell, Mitch McConnell, yeah. McTrader, yeah. Yeah. Going straight to the wallet. So those who created the bill. Yep. Mm -hmm. McConnell says he's happy with letting China buy American farmland and build a processing plant in the U.S. to feed our enemies. That's a bunch of crap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his wife is, is a big chinese business person. oh yeah his his, his in-laws they yeah. yeah they have a shipping company in china yep. oh you know they're getting rich oh big time you know they're getting rich richer richer that's right now time Jenner for probably presents star wars electronic battle command the computerized space battle game enemy scan on i see you Battle stations. Red alert. Star Wars Electronic Battle Command has computer scanners, force units, invisible shields. Fire. Three levels of play, basic, intermediate, and advanced. Ah, my tide fighters hit. Hey, Dad, let's play the basic game. You always get carried away. Star Wars Electronic Battle Command from Kenner. I want one. I don't remember that one. Do you remember that one? No. I don't even understand how that one was supposed to work. Was it all just sounds? You just reacted to the sound? I guess lots Death, of sound. Death Pusher says Death Pusher has that, he says. It's amazing that it... Do you really? Wow. Um, I, I think it's kind of like electronic. It's, it looked like it was like electronic battleship. Yeah, I don't remember that one. It came out in 1977. I showed it built like a 70s telephone. Yeah. They last forever. I don't know if I'd go that far, especially with these electron new electronic games. Yes, bewitched. Elizabeth Montgomery. Wow. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. I wasn't at even a twinkle in my dad's eye, Smoking Wraith says. Smoking Wraith, what are you drinking tonight? Are you drinking? I assume you had to work today. Come home to a nice beverage to drink. Oh, yeah. There you go. The snowman that I never built. <laughs> Looks good, though. That's pretty cool. Yummy. Glenn Fleming says, I'm making it a New Year's resolution to get back into these chats. I've been and am really busy at the moment and have neglected you all. See you all in the new year. Well, well good, think... Glenn. If uh, Hopefully it won't be weeks before we hear from you again but if it is after the new year uh have a great christmas and and a happy new year i know it's late late over there you must be working late my friend on hatch and other projects uh had to have you on the show uh sometime here of course booking people around christmas time is always kind of spotty but you're welcome on anytime my friend and if you need a special time we'll do it um I worked starting at, oh, starting with Coors Banquet. Uh, did I say that right? Coors Banquet bottle, then switching to bourbon. Oh, okay. There you go. Coors and then to bourbon. Yeah. A man after shadow his own heart. Hey. The rare one is Kenner Star Wars X-Wing Isis Target game. Death Pusher says. Uh, big money for that one. Uh, define big money, Death Butcher. I kind of like to know these things. Do you know? Uh, hey, everyone. Yep, I need to be on your show, and thanks. 
rest in peace, Toys R Us. Speak I soon. Do. Speak soon. Okay. See you, Glenn. Look forward to it, buddy. Yep. Eraser Doom. British screenwriter and film television director Mike Hodges has passed away. We mentioned that earlier today, but I thought I'd mention again. Probably uh, Mike is best known for his classic gangster film, Get Carter. Have you ever watched Get Carter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that one. But I'd so, like to... Huh? Oh, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, this person says, uh, but I'd like to thank him for making the sexiest kids film in cinema history. Flash Gordon, 1980. <laughs> wow. Um, what, so what is the color scheme for the original Devil Flyer helmet? What is the original what? Color scheme. I don't think I had an original color scheme, uh, Vic. Um, oh, I just is, did black and white. Well, what is the color scheme now? I, I guess it would be like a gold-like helmet. If I had to imagine maybe what I was like thinking. Like a Roman... Uh... Yeah, I was thinking Roman centurion. That's why he's got the, you know, the frill on the, his head, and then of course, a little, little Captain America inspired wings on the side of the helmet to kind of. Or they making the out back? Was that bronze back then? Uh, or bronze? Yeah, yeah, bronze, kind of bronze color. Sure. Yeah. Found my thrill. Shadow, after I showed you my picture, I got it wet on today's stream. I heard you saying you got a bunch of stuff wet, dude. I couldn't jump in, though. I know. Well, that's what I get for not, you know, having... Having uh, permanent ink for all my uh, inking devices. If it was permanent, it wouldn't have ran, but... It got a little... Uh, Got a little messed up, a little runny. What's that? Who's that? This is a new character I've been working on. Got a little runny. Mm. New character coming your way soon. Maybe. I don't know. I'm working out the particulars of it. All right, later, Past Master. See you, Past Master. Thanks for coming in, as always. I uh, got to make my taxation theft again shirt today. I have to wear that to work X Xmas party. <laughs> About 1,200 loose, complete, not sure about sealed in box. Wow. Yeah, I could see that for a Star Wars electronic game from 1977, the year that they came out. Still, if you think that, how many years has that been? Oh, over 40 years? What? Well, over 40 years? That's not a lot of money. I mean, it is, but to buy something like that, but yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Well, that go good with the red and white of the cap, right? The bit, uh, if the red, if it is red and white cap. Are, is that an alcohol marker, uh, Vic? It is. Yeah. What do you think about alcohol markers? Um, just trying to learn how to use them, really. At this really? Point. 
Have you not yeah. used them extensively? No. Yeah. I guess if you want to know about markers, I ask uh, Apex. Is he uses markers for all his coloring and? But uh, man, he's pretty good at it. You know. Yeah. I mean, it can look choppy with some markers. Markers can be to really get yeah. good at it if you had to. Well, that's why. That, that's why the alcohol markers. That's why people use the alcohol markers because you can. Yeah, because they don't. Yeah, they. Yeah, you can blend better. Can blend it. Yeah. Ah, the Fantastic Four movie we all want to see, I'm sure. It almost <laughs> received the award for the worst uh, movie of the year. Oh, that was horrible. I didn't even bother watching that one. That was the worst yeah. thing I've ever seen. Yeah. The more gravelly bother. thing there. I mean, the thing didn't bother me. I kind of, you know, I was like, yeah. all right. You know, I was like... It's a little grittier, you know. It's a little right. less, a little less poppy than than like the original go around with with Chicklets. But yeah, um, I was like, okay, you know, I'll give it, I'll give it, it, I'll give it a shot. I watched the movie; it was horrible. Oh yeah, I I think I own the movie. I think I bought it, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, hmm. It was supposed to be like the. Um, uh, what was that? What was that? The. Uh, Series that Brian Hitch was doing. Uh, me. Um, um, Google it. Google it now. <laughs> Google. Ain't got time to Google. <laughs> Noman Bates. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep them feller. Shit, till he's backstabber. Hey, Mrs. Good Stuff. Hey, hey guys, sorry I missed most of the show. Uh, you were working, right? Um, Driving back from work. Hopefully you're home safely. Hopefully, hopefully your weather is not going to be pissy yeah. like mine's going to be tomorrow. May get down to five degrees, rain, ice, snow, who knows what. Mine's going to be a blizzard. Yeah. Yours is going to be a blizzard? That's what they're saying, blizzard conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to ask you about the high winds, Vic. Uh, what's the highest winds you've experienced while living in that old building? Oh, geez. Uh, I don't know. We've had... Uh, I had 65 mile an hour winds when I lived in mine. Well, well yeah, we get... We get... We get... Actually, we get 65 miles an hour winds. Yeah. Um, My building uh, would shudder. A few times a year because... We're right, you know, we live, this is right, this is right off the ocean. So, yeah, that's, that, that's not the new, that's not, that's not the new to us. It's when it gets up like 75 miles an hour or greater. That's when it's like, what? Mrs. Good Stuff says last minute shopping. We get the pissy weather Thursday overnight saying power outages due to freezing winds. Oh, crap. Oh, lovely. Um. Yeah, my my uh hundred year old, over a hundred year old building that I lived in would sh actually shudder. Uh, and an old building like that, you kind of wonder, is it going to stay apart? Stay, I mean, uh, shake apart in high winds like that. I mean, sure, it's lasted over a hundred years, but that's a hundred year old, hundred year old building. It has to fall down sometime, uh, probably.
Wonder Woman. Stocked up on that firewood just in case. Oh, so that's that's good that you have a open fire. I have gas logs, and I don't. I've never fired them up, but uh, I would like to convert it back to firewood. Think about firewood. Eventually, your studs uh, behind the walls and stuff kind of get dried out over time. It can present a fire hazard after a while, but I guess there's a way to, con if I was constructing a new house, I would uh, kind of consult some people on that. On how to best do that, incorporate a chimney and everything into the house. I do like natural wood burning. It's great. You roast marshmallows. Throw your orange rinds into the fire during Christmas and make it smell good like citrus in the house. They had a nice wood splitting device that they were showing on Twitter uh, the other day. That was pretty neat. Oh. Little docks and fun there. Little bow ties. That's something I've never get, given Abby. It's a little suit to wear or <laughs> anything. It'd be pretty cool, though, to see her in something like that. My wife's just up uh, Daisy, the first year. Oh, uh, devil, you must be doing it wrong. Yeah. Greenwood. <laughs> she, had a, she had a little witch that went around her. Uh, looked like it was riding. Riding. Like a... <laughs> Oh, I like the ones. Have you seen the ones where they got? Uh, oh, it definitely does. Yeah, they got like the uh, the Chucky. The yeah, Chucky uh, yeah. The Chuck it looks like he's coming at you with a knife. Yeah, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Especially those little small dogs. You know, they got that really cute face, but it looks like Chucky with a little knife coming at. You. Do you do anything? Uh... Shadow, uh, special for your pets during Christmas time? I mean, you know, for oh, like course, Christmas. Yeah. They, they have their own stocking. They get uh, all kinds of little Christmas presents. There's your snowman ideal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. Shadowhawk is in a house surrounded by women and pets. Uh -huh. of, course, of course, the pets get stockings and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> special <laughs> attention. Birthdays and everything, yeah. No, everything. It's a must. Exactly. If you know what's good it's, for His helmet <laughs> almost looks like a little Christmas bell, doesn't it? Almost. That'd make a good Christmas ornament. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Happy holidays. <laughs> now, what color is are his wings? I guess if it's, I guess they probably should be silver, don't you, for contrast? Almost looks like the Dr. Fate helmet, doesn't yep. it? Was that a yes for the chrome wings? Uh, Shadowhawk silver? Yes. Yes. My cat just brings me presents, mostly dead mice, half shredded. Ugh! No, don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good cat. Good. That's a good cat right there. Well, yeah. Yeah. Good that it caught it. Do you approve? Yes, I approve, but please take it away. And a rat. Rats are no good either. Had my cat. My cat. It was uh, Thanksgiving. We were so also, we just sat down to Thanksgiving dinner, and my cat comes in the house uh, and brings right right up to me and drops it right at my feet. Drops this bird that he caught outside. <laughs> 
Now this cat, this cat was amazing though because it was my it was my parents' cat and they had um it was an indoor cat. It was you know it was they had got it was it was already declawed when they had got the cat. So the cat did didn't have any front claws, but this cat. When he came, he came to 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 live with me, because I had you know small kids, he wound up getting outside all the time, right? As much as we tried to, you know, keep that from happening, right? This cat was all. This cat was still catching birds, mice, everything. Being without claws did not stop him. <laughs> did not slow him down. This cat was like discovered freedom and was like gonna live its best life i loved it but he's quiet all of a sudden <laughs> why is everybody muted except for me Well, that's not really fair, is it now? Um, what do I say? Yeah, I don't there know. you go. I'm back, Vic. I'm back. Sorry about that. That's all right. You just left me out there to hang. Uh, okay. Well, I thought I could slip into the bathroom while you and Rex were talking, and then he muted and went away, and I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> Been doing that to me an awful lot lately. I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> yeah, he does it to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, so my cat, uh, this cat, like, uh, yeah, you know, like became totally an kicking outdoor, ass anyway. Came an outdoor cat. Didn't didn't matter that he didn't have claws. Yeah, I've known a couple of cats like that. Man, they, they didn't care. You know, that's all right. Take my front claws. I'm, I'm still going to get my shit. <laughs> yeah. Out, out living, out, he was out living his best life. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, my wife had a uh, cat that she had for years and years when we first got together. And he was, he was just a little dude, man. I mean, well, he, he was average size, but he was thin, you know, kind of long. But he'd disappear, and every time he'd come back, he'd have a chipmunk or a, a freaking bird or a mouse or a mole, something. <laughs> he never came home empty handed. I know. I love that. I was so proud of him. Yeah, every, yeah. Like all the women, all the women at the Thanksgiving table, they shrieked too. Because <laughs> he just. Just strolls right in with this dead bird and lays it at my feet. <laughs> Thanks to dinner. I was like, damn. Cats, provide, cats providing for the family, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's hilarious. I love it. Don't bring any presents, man. I, I remember saying, well, if we didn't have a turkey, you'd all be grateful for this cat right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Who likes the dirt? <laughs> Who likes dirt? Huh? I said, "Who likes the dark meat?" Oh. Who do you think? Who do you think caught the turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Cat comes dragging a fucking sixteen-pound turkey behind it. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this was a big. This cat got big. This cat probably could have. He like finally gets in there, just throws it down on the floor, walks in, cracks a beer. <sighs> big old, big old calico cat. Oh, dude, yeah, my first cat was a big calico. She was fucking amazing. Actually, my oh, cat right I, now is a calico. That's all I like. That's all I own is calico. I, I, I like cats. calico cats. Calicos got, are really good in nature. Oh, yeah, they, they got, got they got things. good they're, personalities. Yeah, they're so lovable. Hate when you're That's walking. coming out cool, Vic. Hate when your hands get 
you can't open containers they get a little wet or something yeah mrs good stuff says dinner is finally ready have a good night have a good night mrs. Good stuff. Oh, what's good for night, dinner what's for dinner oh yeah you didn't tell us what's for dinner yeah uh, let probably it go Something better than any of us could cook or order out. Don't yeah, no. dox my meatloaf. Maybe it's tragic <laughs> meatloaf. Oh, Shadow kicked him so. <laughs> Again. We got wild turkey around here. I could try. So we know yeah we got wild tur we got wild turkeys around here too yeah we we have wild turkeys here yep yeah the apocalypse comes i'm gonna be eating a lot of turkey we'll go hunt those things real easy yeah easy and how would you how would you cook them? How would you huh? prepare it? How would you prepare it? Uh, I would probably build myself a, a a smoker, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that okay. easily. Um, this is yeah, something yeah, I've never seen off. before, uh, and I'm not likely to forget. What the? <laughs> I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, yeah, I've seen houses that have had that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh really? Is that a yeah. thing that you actually put up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. Oh, I've seen they, they got the, they got ones where it's like Santa's legs, like. And he's, that like, really he's, looks like somebody sitting up there. It does, then. Yeah, it looked realistic. That's probably where that all started from. All right, Vic, what are you using there? Is that ink or is that a uh, acrylic, acrylic paint? Okay. Okay. Down, uh... Multimedia. Multimedia. That is, you are <laughs> correct, sir. Turkey, deer, rabbit, squirrel, they'll be eating well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know about squirrel, but squirrel ain't bad. Mm, rabbit. I've had uh, squirrel. Yeah, eh, rabbit no, and squirrel's it's... pretty much the same. Well, it's rat. Those well, they're rabbits. all. They're all. I mean, even rabbits. They're all are... rodents, dude. Yeah, so yeah, they're all the same. Yeah. Oh, rabbit is too. Yeah, anything yeah, with kind, They're kind of. They're kind of stringy. They don't have enough fat on them. Um, you got to cook yeah. them with like a lot of a lot of butter or some kind of gravy or something. You braise, yeah, braise them with butter, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it 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 don't taste terrible. There's just not a whole lot of meat there, and and you no. got to know how to cook them. Little bones, yeah. You cook I've them had wrong, some barbecue it's, it's squirrel. Be really bad, <laughs> dude. I had a buddy of mine that did a, a barbecued uh, raccoon. But you got to know what you're doing. Cool. Right, <laughs> yeah. It's of course, in good, Arkansas, uh, but, uh, the old but adage it's, is, you know, very greasy, you haven't lived you know, till you had possum. I never tried possum. I've had rattlesnake, frog, uh, alligator. Uh, what else do I have? It's weird. Reindeer, bear, buffalo. Um, pretty much every this. kind of fish in, in, the, in the universe. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, 1953. Oh, yeah. When movies are fun. Oh, is this the uh, Lizzie? Yeah. Ray right, Harry Hazard. I always love that. <laughs> Ray <Right>, Harry Hazard. <laughs> Ray right, Harry Hazard. Harry Hazard. Yeah. Harry Hazard. You see the Duke boys go jumping over the top of his head. Uh huh. Yeah. Squirrel gravy. Ugh. Great idea, mm -hmm. Shadow. Yep. D don't diss the squirrel. Dario says, "What you know about that owl?" Hey, Dario. What's up, Dario? Never eat an owl. 
the squirrel. Or any of the raptors. Or any of the raptors. That's right. That's that's got to be one of my favorite uh, Ray Harryhausen movies. Actually, the Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Rampage. Remember when uh, I first saw that thing, man? I thought that monster was real. I was just a little kid. Dude. It like, beat Dang. Godzilla by three years. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why I was so happy to see Godzilla, man. It's, you know. How to keep the neighborhood kids out of your yard this winter. Oh, shit. A moat. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Snowman on rampage. First, you have to add the snow. We probably have, oh, shoot, my God, that guy, is, that postman is lucky to be alive. My God, let me show you this. It's only six seconds long, but my God, he's lucky to be alive. That's amazing. Just a minute, I'll key it up here. Yes, this, this will scare the hell out of you now. Remember the guy with the bull? He wasn't paying attention. Yeah. This guy didn't have a chance. Check this out, man. Gets hung up on the bad. tree. Bam! Got a bad feeling about this. Oh! Jeez. Yeah, I've oh. seen that. Yeah. Oh, my Holy God. He's lucky shit. to be alive. He's lucky he wasn't crushed. Shoot, man. Damn. And I don't know what that metal wall is, but it sure didn't give much, did it? That's one of those uh, big uh, wall post office boxes, you know, or for like an apartment complex or something, I think. Well, like you know, you, it's you... probably good that that wall had some give to it, you know, that kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no shit. Oh, shoot, man. I bet he's bruised. Oh, dude. I... Damn. I, he... He... I mean, how's he still standing? How did that not break his leg? How did that tire? You don't know, that, you don't know that it didn't. You don't know that it didn't. Yeah, he might have run yeah. over his foot or his ankle or something, dude. Because that thing. I mean, look at that. I That's, know that'd crush your foot. Look, he's he might be limping. I don't know. Yeah, he might. He oh, might be jacked. Dude. He's lucky I mean, he's alive. Yeah, he's, he's lucky, lucky he's not. He's lucky he ain't dead. But yeah, I don't know internal bleeding and stuff. You never know. Uh, yeah, it's true. Concussion, fuck, you know, could drop yeah. dead three three weeks later from yeah. like a brain aneurysm or something. Mm -hmm. you know? Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! So, so, well, uh, welcome to the four o'clock shadow, and <laughs> hope everybody's having a very merry, merry Christmas season. The, the Rex, <laughs> an, an uplifting Christmas special. Absolutely. <laughs> We end the stream and 14 people stick their heads in an oven. <laughs> I don't think anybody goes that far anymore. It takes too long. I don't know. There's some microaggression out there, bro. I mean, check this out. This kid, man. Micro. <laughs> oh sure. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so, oh, kidding oh. you. Donkey punch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The wind up. <laughs> yeah, he totally whiffed with that one shot. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Santa never had a had a chance. I couldn't even defend it. I, I, I know, right? He's kind of... He didn't want to get on the naughty list. 
You think Santa could put himself on the naughty list? I guess so. He's the one that makes the list, right? Yeah. But if you maybe it would be him, like Mrs. Claus that sticks him on the naughty list, huh? Well, she's got her own naughty list for Santa, I'm sure. Did you like Dar Daryl Hannah and Blade Runner? Daryl Blade Hannah, Man? if you think Hell about yeah. it, she, she was a character that looked a lot like Harley Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. I also like Daryl Hannah in, uh, oh, shit, what was it? Uh, Splash? Was it Splash? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That was a big movie. I saw that twice. Clan of the Cave Bear. Oh, Clan of the Cape Bear. That was a good one, too. I forgot about that one. Did that come out <laughs> before Splash? What? what is there no, I think it came out after Splash. After? No, no. Okay. <laughs> Clan of the Cape Bear. I mean, she was, a big, she was a big name pretty much after Splash. You couldn't make that movie nowadays, dude. No fucking way. What? Clan of the Cape Bear? Really? No. no God, dude, think about it. Some of the stuff that went on in that movie, they were depicting, like, you know, like, caveman in life. You know. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> yeah, they're... Well, you know, that's what cavemen did, right? Cavemen and can't cave women. Don't matter. You wouldn't be able to get away with it these days. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is called Idiots at Work. And if it did... Wait, 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 wait. What? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, shit. What were, they, what were they thinking? I think they thought they were just going to... Wait, 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 wait. Knock what? it over and it was just going to slide right down off the roof. Uh, you know, they knocked ooh. a giant hole in there. Fucking idiot. Job security, <laughs> right? Now now you can give them an estimate for repair of the roof. No, because now you're, you're fired. Yeah, but you're, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> that's if you survive. The, your, right, right underneath that is is your, is your the bathroom, and you're sitting on the jaw and taking a shit. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and the chimney comes through, you, through your bathroom. Oh, through your shit. bathroom ceiling. You're like, ah, rain and bricks all around you and shit. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that's just wrong. This spectacular mass of juvenile striped eel catfish appearing as one giant animal. A daunting sight for predators in this undulating, dense entity. The vulnerable protect each other until each is mature and independent. Yeah, this is almost like uh, some uh, carnage or venom imagery here with the symbiote underwater. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's a big, big mauling creature. Don't want to get around that. Oh, no. No, right. fucking eat us alive. That school there is probably about as big as uh, a manta ray. And those things can get huge. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I saw some huge one. Uh, that was, uh, Maybe that's nothing but an underwater fart club. Diving in the, bah Think about in, uh, the Bahamas. Huge. What should I play? Like this, I'm bored. What plaything can you <laughs> offer me today? Yeah, it's a little ball of mud. <laughs> the, the locals call it earth. Artificial art. <laughs> I call him Freddy Fingers. You'll grow up to make some woman very happy one day. <laughs> Freddy. 
Ho, ho, ho. Green. Oh, no. Green. <laughs> Wow, it's nice, Vic. Like it. Mm hmm. That could be your new uh, Christmas avatar, uh, Rex. You got to take a screenshot and then uh, put it up as your uh, avatar. Uh, yeah, I would have to download it, right? Well, yeah. I'll, I'll take a, I'll just, take a just picture. Take a screenshot. Of it. I'll take a with, picture with my with my phone camera. It'll be better. Then no, and, yeah. and then just send it to him? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't know if this yeah. is you'll, real yeah, or you'll not. Yeah, defin- you'll get better definition that way, right? I think what that's real? Mean? Probably. Could, could be. It, it looks like uh, it's an, I don't know. It looks like I don't it's know an it's aquarium. Possible. I don't know what it is. It, it looks like it's in aquarium and not, you know, in yeah. A, yeah, but I don't, I don't know. know. It goes way back. It appears like know. it goes way back. Might not be real. I don't know. Yeah. There's some weird stuff underwater, but if that's in an aquarium, uh, it makes me well, I don't know if it's in an aquarium or not. What do you think? Does the environment and everything uh, look real to you, or is that computer generated? I, at it like computer generated. It's re- computer re- generated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We restart it yeah. again because it looks almost like there's like a wall. That's all there is to it, right there. It just keeps oh, cycling. Okay. It just keeps cycling. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah it's computer. It generated. doesn't look quite real. Hey, Manticore. Uh, Rex's ancestor before the Crustaceous period. Yeah. Hmm. But I wouldn't have shot it down immediately. I mean, there's all kind of weird little critters in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, every yeah, time they, to see if they come up the with bubbles. new shit, that, you know, they're like, oh, something new is discovered. And it's just like, what? Well, what? I mean, that's an amazing <laughs> image. If you took that image back, say, 20, 30 years, people would be going, whoa. Is that real? I mean, they're doing it today, but. Well, they would think it, they would think it is real. Get, it might get used as like a background in a video game or something. Or, you never know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take it all. I guess, I guess she was thirsty. I guess so. <laughs> she was probably showing out for her. What's uh, up, man? Of course. For her uh, mother in law, you know, trying to. Oh, these are good. These are goose bronicles. Uh, that's. They're strange. What were we? Oh, Goose barnacles? Bronicles. Got them moving in and out. Cool. I don't know what they're clustered around. Obviously, they're on a beach somewhere. It's probably a rock. Yeah. Kind of what they do. They find feed me, see more. Feed me, feed me, see more. Feed me, 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 feed me. I think they're basically just filter feeders. You know, so they just hang around, and... waiting for the tide to come in. You think? Yeah, and then they just like you know sift whatever comes through their mm-hmm. little jet ports or whatever they have. Pretty much okay. stationary in life. Yeah, uh, what are they called? Mollusks or whatever the hell they call those things? They're uh, they're they're very strangely constructed. Hmm. Are you going to watch any holiday specials, uh, Vic? 
Probably, I don't know. How about Rudolph the Red Nosed Raptor? <laughs> he's, he's got a shiny nose. Sh shiny? Now, how can you overlook? No, why didn't you tell me? I insist on being here. I'm their ball. You bred raptors? <laughs> <laughs> you bred raptors? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for it. What was the uh the uh the Lama Rangers uh name or whatever the in the original cartoon? Anyway, well, I, guess I kept it... wait I kept waiting for the little Rudolph the Raptor to like just jump on her and grab her by the neck like ah. Ah, Yeah. Well wait till we start breastfeeding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gonna be a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. <sighs> Nipples look Rick, like a you, glass. you probably weren't <laughs> up. Look look at this. Look at this guy's expression. So I don't know if he's getting the jab, but he's getting a jab, right? Are you watching? Mm -hmm. I'm on. Why do they keep hit, fucking hitting him with it? He keeps leaning away. Why are they jabbing him like three times? They're not. He's leaning away from it. They're slapping. They're slapping the skin. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just Rex's choppy video. It sounds like the the little gun is going ting 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 ting. Yeah, he's slapping slapping the skin, and but he keeps leaning away. He doesn't want to get. <laughs> He's watching it, leaning away. <laughs> he has to pull him. Come here. <laughs> Some third world country. Oh, <sighs> Poor guy has no idea what's going on. Poor guy. <laughs> I felt sorry for him. You see him? He didn't look like the brightest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he didn't look like the brightest. <laughs> wow. Shadow, are you slimy? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't look the brightest. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> you see the shape of his head? Come on. <laughs> After hearing that, I'm I'm sorry too. I'm trying to be <laughs> Clytus, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? An obscure body in the SK system, Your Majesty. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. I like to play with things while before annihilation. Pathetic earthlings! No. Who can save you now?
Welcome. Prepare her for our pleasure. Don't kill him yet, father. I want him. Go, Flash, go! Flash! Ken wants to know, uh, what are you drawing? Well, you can tell there. Well, that's Daryl Flyer with a uh, helmet on with the Santa cap. <clears throat> that's what that is. It's Santa Flyer. It's a Santa Flyer. Yes. <laughs> we'll go. With um, that. Rex, you could do like a whole, you could do a whole stream of like, just call it choppy ass theater <laughs> <laughs> I know right oh dude chop suey Sunday with Rex <laughs> everything's out of sync <laughs> people you gotta make <laughs> say it again what'd you say chop suey Sunday with Rex yeah but then he said something else Oh, I, yeah. Everything's out of sync. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's out of sync, yeah. <laughs> Choppy and blurry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like Santa Santa oh, disembarkment. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody's present. I hope those wet. aren't my ah. toys that got wet. It's a magic sack. The toys are fun. It's a magic sack. There you go. The magic sack. Uh, <laughs> don't ever bring that up again. That's how my first uh, <laughs> wife, um, well, anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tis true. Show is like a roller coaster. I was gonna say ways again. <laughs> After Rex talking about magic zag, there better not be <laughs> that zipper noise. Better not be <laughs> I know that's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, that's why I went out of my way to point it out. <laughs> Mark Anthony, poet, said, "If you want her in your life, make sure she knows it in words and actions." That show her your heart. Oh. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Fairly obvious. I guess some people's need instructions. Instructions. I never got the instructions. So I had to play it by ear. a cat with a bow tie and a hat. That's too big. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> cat with a bow tie and a hat. That is too big. How do you get a bow tie? Oh, the he's okay. these weird things in everything. Oh. Yeah, she's she's got a very active like visual imagination. Libido. Well, I, you said it, not me. I didn't say that. I know. She might. I don't know. Exactly, Eric and Boyd Barnacle. 
Da! Ce? <laughs> It's wrong. Oh. I gotta go wash my eyes. Uh, today in the news, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me this guy makes Nancy Pelosi. I don't know. The, the eyeballs remind me of AOC. <laughs> Could be. In like a hundred years. He's just so big and bulgy. Will we? Yeah, she does have big, bulgy eyes, doesn't she? Not to be trusted. She reminds me of one of those little dolls you used to be able to get at uh, Spencer's and you squeeze it and the eyeballs pop out. No, oh, you mean like this guy? Yeah, kind of like <laughs> <laughs> my little prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. From uh, Kinder Trauma. Huggable, lovable, and filled with real mercury. <laughs> I know I will die. Oh, it's good for a second laugh, a third. Today's Thursday, isn't it, guys? Nope. Oh, it's not? Is it not Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Yeah. Oh, it's Wednesday. Oh, my God. I wish it was Thursday because that would mean tomorrow would be Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's yeah, I get me. that. No, no. Never apologize for being sensitive or emotional. It's a sign that you have a big heart. And that you aren't afraid to let others see it. Showing your emotions is a sign of strength. Now I'm just confused. It's more pansy talk. <laughs> All right, I was leaning in that direction. Thank you for clarifying. Lie on my chest. Spread yourself out across the length of me. Let your heavy eyes close. Let yourself drift away as my hands gently trace the curve of your back. Find your peace within the uh, parenthesis of my arms. <laughs> what the fuck, Ralph? I mean, Rex, what the hell are you <laughs> fucking reading? What? Okay. What? Oh, it's it's funny that you call me Ralph. That was my dad's name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my boy. dad's middle name was Homer. Ralph <coughs> Homer Christian. Wow. Yeah. He could have had a cartoon. Yeah, maybe. Dope. <laughs> the Simpsons. We find out the Simpsons are really based <laughs> off of uh, Rex's family. <laughs> He's, he's he's related to Tracy Ullman. Yeah. Rex has got a sister named Lisa. <laughs> Garth Egan says, the stars that shine the brightest are painted with the smile from your eyes. No, he does not. Garth Ennis never writes anything that nice. <laughs> Uh, you might be right. I've read most of his stuff. I, uh, that's the first time I've ever heard him say anything that night. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Kevin you got the Smith name wrong. Oh, that. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, oh, can uh, we yeah. show like a dog uh, hmm, attempting to hump? Um. I suppose. What, what uh, say you, Vic? It's it's educational. I don't, don't want to see it. Uh, this is called Mission Impossible. <laughs> oh no! Poor little dog. Run away, little dog! Run away! <laughs> Run away! What are you doing? What are you holding me in place for? Oh me! That's just wrong. 
That's just oh. wrong. But they do have it right. Mission Impossible. Yeah, luckily for that little dog, it was never going to happen. Oh, let's see. Uh, today, uh, the Daleks made their debut. One of the shows that most iconic, icon, iconic cliffhangers. That was really the iconic, uh, iconic cliffhangers. Yeah, where uh, you know she's being confronted by the plunger of the Dalek and screaming. That's where the first story left off of the Daleks. That was the introduction of the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. That's right. First look at the planet Scaro, where the Daleks come from. <laughs> Daleks. The Daleks. American fiction writers. F. Scott Fitzgerald died from a heart attack, 1940, on this date. Oh. He wrote the Great oh, Gatsby. In, in, yeah, in late in late news. Uh, huh? I said in uplifting news. Uh, there you guys are actually lightening the mood again. <laughs> well, we report all the news here. Only 80 years later. All the news that mattered. You are <laughs> correct, sir. <laughs> I there use that more than you do. Well, as well you should. <laughs> okay. Jane, you <laughs> ignorant slut. Exactly. <laughs> Can't help it, I'm always right, right? <laughs> Jane, you ignorant slut. Words to live by. Huh? Definitely. What's up, Timothy O? T.O. Timothy Olsen says, oh, so this is what a drawing that looks like it's not traced from a photo looks like. <laughs> yes. You are yes. correct, sir. So it's done, Timothy. You are correct. Has anyone thought about Christmas dinner and what they might have? I have no idea. What well, we might get yeah, we, Christmas pizza. That's what we have Christmas for Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a nice ham and oh, uh, all thick. Damn! Told you, bro. I don't mess around. I like to cook. No, I wasn't responding to that. I was responding to this woman being backed oh. over by an ambulance. Oh shit! Where we go, we get uh, they get um, where I go. They order uh, Chinese food. Look at this! Oh, okay. I, a huge oh. Chinese buffet. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Now why oh, did they oh, stop? Oh, oh, oh! Ouch! Oh, shit! My, maybe you should pull up, dumbass. Oh, it was a woman driver, probably. They don't even they notice. They don't even know she's there. Holy she doesn't even God. notice. Now she notices. What the hell? Oh, my God. Now she's going to get pulled up. Wait. You got him out? Pull the freaking up. I guess you need yeah. to see where she's pinned or whatever. Dude, before that tire's got to be on that person's leg. They backed way the fuck <laughs> over. Rex, I sent you a picture of that. Okay. Damn. Now he pulls up. My God. That came out great, Vic. 
Beautiful. We're gonna correct this guy's new icon for <laughs> Now I got to work. Look at this. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, damn. Mm. You wonder why they stopped. <laughs> I guess it was as far as they were going. Oh, that's amazing. What? And she doesn't re she doesn't really react and get in a panic. No, hey, come like, on uh, here. You you backed up over somebody. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Maybe on his driving record, we hope. Hmm. Uh, Timothy Austin says, that was your best art yet, Vic. Rex, why are you obsessed with other people's dinners? Maybe because I'm hungry. What did you settle on, Vic, for dinner? So I'm looking at now. Mm-hmm. We're doing uh, beef sandwiches on a fresh baked Italian bread. Uh, oh, sweet. And a uh, au gratin potatoes on the side. Where do I find this stuff? Check this out. Guess the ducks are in revolt. They're protesting. <laughs> Get him, pup. Yeah. Doggy dinner. Dog, doggy duck delight. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't, ain't no, no friend, friend of mine. Of mine. <laughs> Hey, Susan 333. Good to oh, see snap. you. Oh, uh, snap. Gumby was at the game last night. Oh, shit. Who was Gumby rooting for? Pokey. <laughs> Probably the Coke. <clears throat> the what? Probably the Coats. All right. Well, that's cool. That used to be my team. Bam, in and around your eyeballs. Ooh. Oh, Frank Miller before he fucking uh, lost his shit. Yeah. <laughs> May I open that That's for so you? cool, dude. Look at that. If you had Wolverine around, there would be no bottle or can that was safe. He could go around and open <laughs> up everything for you. It's such a great piece right there. I love Frank Miller's fucking Wolverine was awesome. Oh, dude, yeah. that, that was Frank in his prime, man. That yeah. that and Frank his Daredevil stuff was all. Oh. I know he didn't he didn't draw a lot of it. He wrote more. Than I pretty much got all my Christmas shopping done. I mean, it's not like I have to buy a lot. Yeah, you know. I really don't have to buy anything, but I would feel guilty Nothing not negative. buying anything. Lynn Varley was a freaking genius colorist. Look 
Who was the colorist on this one, Zay? Lynn Barley. Lynn Barley. Okay. Yeah, that, the... I love that the way it's like underlit. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Fucking cool, man. She's a genius. I mean, she did she did uh, the Dark Knight. She did uh, all of wow. all the Freak Miller shit. You know. Okay. Well, there you go. She did um, uh, the Electra graphic novel. He did. Wow. Uh, beautiful stuff. Dude. Yeah, with the with the with the stained glass window. Remember the stained glass yeah, windows? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God. I all that. Yeah. That was so good. Uh, uh, yeah. That was dude. Oh, Daredevil. That was, um, that was well, no. back in mid to late eighties Marvel goodness, and I was just oh, so much good shit going on. And then well, well the, Dark Knight, the course, Wolverine was stuff was like early to mid eighties, right? It was early eighties, uh, right? No, it wasn't that early. It was probably eighty six or later, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, mid eighties, the yeah, mini series. Well, yeah, it might have been eighty five. I don't know. Eighty five, eighty six. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it was it was shortly after like the whole Dark Phoenix saga and everything when Wolverine really you know blew up. Are you getting DoorDash? I am. Yeah. Ooh, what got coming? Dude? Have you set, settled on something? Yeah, I f felt like uh, pizza today. I'm actually going with Little Caesars. Hey, okay. Little Caesars is not bad, dude. If you're just looking for some good food to fill you up, you know. Yeah. You can usually count on Sneezers and not to do you wrong. The the other pizza place that I was ordering from locally, I didn't want to do, and I didn't want to do uh, Domino's. I wanted something different than Domino's, like you know, you know, like yeah, there's yeah. a, it's just a different, just a different flavor, right? You know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. You. Now I prefer Domino's myself, but yeah, mine locally over here is kind of hit or miss sometimes, though. But boy. Every now and again, you get a, a pizza that's a little overdone, man. It's you like need a Popeye's really... apple pie. I buried the elf on the shelf in my litter box. <laughs> that cat is my hero. Yes, the colors really yeah. help. The underlit effect. Yeah, all the shadows are up on top of him. So good call. Good call on the coloring. Oh no. Santa's lost another elf. Missing missing elf. He's posting, looking for the missing elf. Santa Squatch? Perhaps. Oh, McRib sandwich. <laughs> I'll never eat one of those again. I love McRibs. Why? I do too, but yeah, it's, I don't like what they're making, uh, you know. Yeah. No. It's just processed pork. But, uh... Yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to cut some bread up now. Yeah, it's, like, you know, uh, yeah, it's processed all kinds of organ meat. And I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that. Huh? That down, it's right? Oh, it's... No, oh, they, yeah. don't, no huh? they don't use organ meat, no. They're not allowed to, for one. 
Well, maybe I just watched the wrong uh, documentary. Put me off on that. Documentary or YouTube video? Yeah. Uh, they're too darn expensive anyway. I mean, uh, no. I just had to. I just had to put back on my sweatshirt. It's got cold. Here's a future cold. McRib waiting to happen. Yes. They're so cute, but they kind of grow out of that. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Watch out, kitty. That'll do, piggy. Okay, baby. Sorry, kid. Sorry. How did I do this? How do I have a double screen? I may kick myself. Okay, baby. Wait. Okay. They bonk my kid. Well, I like the X. I like the X Men films. Yeah, most of them up yeah, until what was it, Age of, Age of Apocalypse or whatever. I didn't like that one that much. No, it was it, it wasn't the best. It was okay though, but it wasn't. It, the best. I, yeah, well, no, I still. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I didn't hate it, but I mean, out of all of them, that was my least favorite, probably. X -Men. Yeah. And we're back. Oh, gee, I might kick myself. <laughs> what happened, right? Yeah, I brought the screen up. I wanted to leave the screen, and I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, boomers. As long as I can come back. I've kicked myself three times already. Things you can't come back from, the, huh? Boom, boomer assassins. Kicked myself three times you already. You bunch of boomer assassins. <laughs> He's a good quarterback for a little while. He had his moment, didn't he? Yeah, I think he took a few too many hits, man. He he, he got he got a little jacked <laughs> up after a while. Should have never let him be a uh, <laughs> announcer. Obviously, not as many hits as Joe Namath wound up taking. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> that dude went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, like, he's Joe like, uh, he was always a party animal, though, dude. Man, even back in his heyday, he was partying it up. Man. He's grabbing female, uh, female. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he definitely bought into his uh, his 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 quote unquote fame, you know. He definitely. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, for a while there, you know, that was at the late sixties, early seventies when he was on top oh, of yeah. his game. He was, you know, chicks were throwing themselves at him left and right, and he was just like beating them off with a stick. Him with his fur coat. <laughs> yeah. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? First class was good. I did like first class, yeah. First class was cool. I like that one. I was like, right. Yeah, I, I yeah, I thought that was I thought that was a cool movie. Vic, uh, did you see like, uh, uh what was the one with uh where uh it shows Magneto like getting revenge on uh, the Nazis that uh messed with him when he was a kid and stuff. Uh it was one of the later ones, but he, he takes the coin and like slowly drives it through that guy's skull. Vic, did you see that Aftershock Comics filed for bankruptcy? Who's uh, Aftershock? I don't even know who Aftershock Comics is. They've been out a while. The the company has ten to, I guess nobody really knows, ten to fifty million in in debt. It sounds like IDW because. IDW years ago was in. Well, I don't know. They were in sixty I, I, million dollar debt. I still don't know who any of their um, properties are. 
Who? What IDW or Aftershock? No, this Aftershock. Who? What? What's the names of the titles that they were putting out? Uh, who? I, what? I, I have some Aftershock comics, and that's only because um, uh, Hastings went out of business, and I got some of their stuff then. Right. No, no, not the first X Men one. It was a more recent one, Eric. Uh, All right, guys, I'm gonna get like going. Flashback type of thing. Uh, Pizza my, whites. Food is en route, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go eat it. And uh, I'll probably, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm gonna stream right away or not till late night. I'm not sure yet. I might mm-hmm. try and take a nap after the pizza. It depends on the how. New, uh, the younger. Oh, it's good to let your food settle for sure. It's yeah. It's still yeah. early. Yeah, it was, it's only eight nineteen. So Lorenzo will be streaming here in a little bit. I would think is Thursday night stream. Is it That's Thursday? Tomorrow. That's is it tomorrow. Wednesday? Oh, okay, I've got my days all mixed up. It's right. hump day. I may not make it over the hump. Hump day. That's what she said. All right, Vic. Take care, bro. All right, peace, man. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, everybody. I'll later, see Vic. you on my channel later. Oh, oh, wow. oh, 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 Green Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy later, the pizza. Vic. I wonder if it has pineapple. How about you for dinner? Shout out uh, to Marty. Yeah, I think you asked me, but uh, we're doing. Uh, I uh, turned uh, the leftovers from the uh, roast last night into some uh, beef sandwiches on some crushed Italian bread. Uh, oh, sandwich. yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I got all gratin potatoes on the side. And, uh, yeah, so it should be tasty. The girls are getting ready to eat right now. So give me about five minutes and I can tell you. Ooh. Did you turn everything green in the chat, right? Uh, no. Why That's just I their green? icons. No, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, it is. Citizen of the Universe three 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 has a green icon, and Eric and Eric? Boyd has a new green icon. Everything's been green head. for a while. Yeah, Timothy no, old things. Green's white. my favorite color. I'm not complaining. It's just like wow. Yeah. Okay. Some Christmas. Uh, oh, okay. Everybody's messing around for Christmas. Oh, I, I guess some Christmas. Uh, A little Christmas. Wishes cheer. come true, apparently. Hmm. I'll have to see if my art director can turn my uh, hawk green. Now, if we only had my favorite color, a little red. Green and red, those seem to be like Christmas colors. Yep. Sure. Although around here, if you ask my wife, it's blue, as you've obviously seen. All right, Eric. Have a great, great night, sir. Take care, Happy Eric. Happy holidays if I don't see you before. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to shut it down anyway. Uh, have you ever ridden in a one-horse open sleigh? I haven't, but supposedly it's fun. No, I haven't. A one-horse open I imagine sleigh. That, that would be fun. That, that would probably be pretty wild, man. Now, they you get know. wagon rides like in Memphis, you know, for couples and or whoever wants to ride around the city. Oh, no, yeah, like in, in coaches. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah I, in a coach, right. Yeah, but that's a little different than being in a sleigh. Yeah, me and my, one of my exes did that before. Yeah. Well, now I had a very, Christmas, very you know, uh, a sleigh as a kid. Uh, and we would put it, you know, a rope around it and pull it around a three-wheeler and really mm-hmm. go fast on that. Yeah, we used Not to advisable. To the, <laughs> we used to hook up to the back of my dad's VW. And he would haul us up and down the street through the neighborhood. It was pretty cool. My dad was a cop, so it was all legal. Yeah. Uh, 
All guess, right, everybody, uh, we shutting this thing down, right? Yeah, I, I want to make sure I get out and get her some meals. Uh, even though I have plenty, I just feel like I might need to stock up a little on her meals before it gets really nasty outside. Uh, I don't know that I finished my story about that. I went over to the grocery store after it had snowed and taken me about four days, and I got went over there and got some, oh, some less than desirable, you know, stuff she wasn't really, I mean, she looked at it and then looked back up at me like, really, you want me to eat this? And that's all I had. I couldn't get to the, you know, the store to get a regular meal. So I don't want to ever see that again. I want my, uh, I want my Abigail to be happy. <clears throat> and I'll probably pick up a little thing of minty bones for her breath too. Yeah. I never heard. <laughs> yeah. Helps clean their teeth supposedly. Although I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least it helps with the doggy breath. too. Oh yeah, man. She never quite gets rid of that, although it's not predominantly bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love dogs, but I mean, all dogs have, you know, some form of dog breath. <laughs> yeah, it's inevitable. Yeah. If you're a dog, so we know dog. there are open sleighs. So, what is a closed sleigh? I don't guess I've seen a closed sleigh. Um, I guess a closed sleigh sounds like a bad idea. Sounds like you're not going to be able to see where you're going. You're not going to know <laughs> when to stop. You well, the driver up top, you know, it may be like more like a, a uh, oh, what they have like, in the West. Running into a uh, stagecoach. Stagecoach. Thank you very much. Well, what happens when you run into a tree? You never even see it coming. You go boom. You go boom. Yeah. Ain't no seatbelt. Not Take bad for a win no Not bad for a Wednesday stream. I appreciate you coming in, Shadow. I always happy to I be still here. have a few minutes if you want to stick around afterwards. I'm just I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call the game before <laughs> the bad weather comes in. You're gonna call it? I, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. call it. No, all good, Rex. Uh yeah, I can hang for a couple with you. Um, all right. Hey, hello the chat. Thanks, everybody, for being here. As always, we appreciate you and love you. And uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. And uh, bam, keep collecting. Thanks, guys. And gals. See you at, uh, oh, 545, I guess. Jeez. All righty. Then.